alive. I'm doing great. My cat, I did not let my cat go anywhere near me today. I feel so bad, but. <laughs> so I found something out. I was super, I was sort of super, super productive today. I was sort of super productive today because my ADHD kicked in to hyper focusing on cleaning. So I got that done. And when I, when I sat down to get things ready for a uh, stream, <laughs> I may or may not have forgotten to install the game. <laughs> so I was in a blind panic to try and get everything downloaded. Luckily, it downloaded before four, so yay. <laughs> Internet's crop running today. But I, I low-key low panicked, but we're fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Shut up, Roga. <laughs> I I did dishes. I did laundry. I picked up the mess that my dog made because he got into because he has a thing with eating pens, and my mom left some pens out, so I had to clean that up. Usually, I would just ignore and just keep him away from it for a good minute, but I was hyper focused fixated on cleaning, so I picked that up. I don't even want to know ar what that means, armor. <laughs> so I'm glad I got up here um, earlier than what I had planned to, or else that would have been bad. <laughs> Another thing I found out, apparently I started this game. I don't think I was too far into it, but apparently I started it. Do I remember anything from it? No. But it's there. It's a... It's a day with this game. <laughs> the piracy path. What is that? Also, I know everything can go wrong. It's Danganronpa. But we're on an island. So, it could outweigh the bad. You don't know that. Wait, is that Pyak? There's no way. There's no way. They only use the same characters. What? He looks so much bigger. I have the game up, and I, 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 I'm gonna switch over. It has these, it has these little sprites, these little sprites on the screen, and they're so cute. Uh, but I could have sworn I saw a plus size Byakuya, and I, I am confused. But let's go ahead. We're gonna go get into it. Cause I am excited. But, but like, I apparently started this game. I didn't get very far into it, apparently. But I, I don't remember playing it. Why did it get so much louder? Hello? Okay, yeah, audio is English. We're good to go. Me, we're never going mean. Hey. Can you hear me? I do remember chat. You are correct. What's with the static? Are you okay? Yes? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too. An explanation to what? The static? Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? Oh, the big... Yeah. So, I did see a big VR. Okay. I don't understand. Why am I here? I don't know who I am. I don't know what voice to give you. What happened? I should try to remember that first. I be- Red Hot, thank you for the resub! Hi, how have you been? I began to think, dis disentangling the twisted knots that had formed in my mind. Think, 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 think. As I gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. Just dots. That's right. I... I... D you, you what?! Part, starting PC's version 1.01. 1. 01. Wait, what? 
What is with the numbers? Oh, okay. Okay, what? Not going to goodbye despair. Y yes? That... Okay. That day. It wasn't just a typical day for me. It was a day that felt truly significant. Oh, that's me. And when that day long, that long awaited day finally came, I felt proud in a way I can't really put into words. I felt like I had just become a part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, I guess. Actually, that's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. I don't know how to voice you. Can I hear your voice, please? Hope's Peak Academy. That place was so much more than a school to me. Kids who love to play baseball will long to join the major leagues. Kids who love to play soccer will long to join a rep team. Rep team? And ever since I was a kid, I have felt the same way about Hope's Peak Academy. Why? Hope's Peak Academy is a government-funded school for the privileged elite of society. Yes, we know this. Uh, it's also a school that uh, crashed and burned. Why is it the focus? It recruits top students from every imaginable field to inspire hope, and in doing so, shape the future. Whenever Hope's Peak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. And just so you know, that's not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Many of the current leaders of various industries are actually alumni of this school. Well, that's basically what Hope's Peak Academy is all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. There are two criteria you must meet in order to attend this school. One, you must be a current high school student. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Unlike other schools, there aren't any entrance exams at this academy. The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. That is how Hope's Peak Academy operates. Now, because of the talents of those who are chosen, the students of Hope's Peak Academy are called Ultimates. But even though I'm finally going to Hope's Peak Academy, the school I desired more than anything else. The truth is, my circumstances are a little different than that of my peers. Well, I guess I need to put that aside for now. You'll see, find out soon enough, and it's something special worth talking about, I think. Anyway, I guess I should introduce myself first. I'm not so special that I have to introduce myself, and formalities are always a little embarrassing. Oh, your voice is deeper than what I e expected it to be, oh no. <laughs> well, this is what's expected. I guess that's how I should think about it. My name is Hajime Hinata. Hello, Hajime. There's only one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. <gasps> I'm the ultimate moon! I actually kind of like that. Thank you, Armor. <laughs> I don't know what that would mean, but hey, I'll take it. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity or a superhero. In fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. That's why. To feel like a member of society. To become someone I can uh. be proud of. I always wanted to. You 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 see the weird static too, right? Like the TV's on the fritz? What is happening? For that reason, I'll oh, I gotta go lower. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Can I go that low? I will attempt. I will attempt. I can't promise it'll sound great, though. <laughs> For that reason alone, I always wanted to. <laughs> For that reason alone, I always... Oh... Hello? How many always is that? 
always, 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 until now. I never wanted to admit how painfully ordinary I really am. That's why. Oh. What is happening? I might have admired talent individuality, but I have finally forever tried my best. Finally came true trude? What is what is happening? Huh? What is this? I am asking the same exact thing. It's a door. There's a door. Still, I need to hurry. Because I need to go inside this classroom. Need? What? It's like I'm in a computer! What is happening? What? Need? No. I should hurry. I'm like some sort of te technological device because of all the static and the noises and the background. What is it? Hel Becca, you put on some weight. Hello? She really let herself go. But there's a. And this is after the first game. Then, I guess it kind of makes sense. Like, if he was, like, depressed and he just ate his feelings. But I still can't see him doing that. Huh? Who goes there? Uh. Um, are you feeling alright? You look quite pale. Um... Hey, could you be... You're also a freshman at this school, right? No, because it all looks like they're in the same class again. So it can't be, Biakia. Uh, then... You're all... See for yourself. We're all freshmen, too. These guys... Everyone? The freshmen who are accepted into Hope's Peak Academy. The ultimate? I assume. Freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. Gathered? <laughs> so, no, that's his voice! I- What is happening? I am- I have questions! Hey, why don't you just come inside for now? Eh? Uh, yeah, of course. Wait, why am I being so polite? I know they're called the Ultimates, but they're still high school students like me. That's right. First impressions are crucial in moments like this. I need to have more confidence. You got this, Hajime. Thus, to hide my nervousness from the others, and while trying my very best to act cool, I stepped inside, closed the door behind me, and sat in an open seat at the back of the classroom. Anyway, what just happened earlier? I wanted to be here, and then a classroom door appeared right in front of me. As if I was drawn to it. But how did I walk to this classroom? I don't remember. Something's weird. You have no questions about the background? How you're not in a hallway? Me trying to fix him wouldn't have caused this! I don't think. I have so many questions. Um, excuse me? What? Yeah, that's, that's definitely his voice actor. What? What is happening? What is it? Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one said anything about coming here, so 
Is there like an entrance ceremony or home room happening now? Hmm. Actually, we were just about to discuss that matter. Discuss? It's all clear. Well, since you were the last student to arrive, let's start the discussion. Got it. <laughs> eh? Is this everyone? How do you know? <laughs> there are only 16 desks in this classroom, and this guy is the 16th student. Such it's ignorant. obvious if you bother to think about it. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I'm glad that we don't have Toko along with this. I don't even want to know what her reaction would be. You are ador- You are adorable! Wait, what do you mean when I hate this character? He's adorable! And just, what are we talk what, gonna talk about? The reason we're all gathered in, here in this classroom? First, I need to confirm something. Out of everyone here, is there anyone who actually remembers how they came to this classroom? Eh? We all looked around at each other. A surprised look ha appeared on everyone's face. Not one person raised their hand. I see. So before you realized it, you were in this classroom. Then everyone here is in the same predicament. Very strange. No matter how you look at it, it's unnatural. Even you stupid looking ones would agree, right? What's going on? It, it sure is strange. Nobody actually remembers how they came here. On the far left? I don't know hey. what's far left. Hey! What do you mean stupid looking? So in other words... The moment you set foot on campus, you felt a strange dizziness. And now you're here and you don't know why. That is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true of all of you? Th that happened to me too, but... Huh? Eh? That dizziness wasn't just me? Everyone felt the same dizziness. That's weird! <laughs> Even if it's just a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. Naturally. So you're saying it's not just a coincidence then? Huh? Hmm? So in other words... Meaning, we can only speculate who's responsible for this strange phenomenon. <laughs> I'm not, I can't talk deep for both. Hajime, I am sorry, honey, but you're, you're gonna go higher. <coughs> who's responsible? What is it? It feels like this is going to get even stranger. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> huh? I don't know what you're so worried about, but that doesn't sound like a huge deal. Huh? What do you mean? So what I mean is... I mean, it's a minor problem. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to figure out why we can't leave. What's that? Uh-huh. What do you mean we can't leave? Impossible! Eh? Is, is, seriously? I watched him rush over to the door and try with all his might to pull it open, but... Why are we locked in? Ha! Huh? <laughs> it, it won't open! I can't open it! Can I get some sort of, like... Huh? Huh? Why? A little while after I got here, I tried to leave to go take a sh... <laughs> you are so crude, my guy! I need to leave to go take a shit. But that door wouldn't budge at all. Hey, hey. He's so crude. I don't even want to like him. <laughs> hey, hey. What's going on? Jeez. Even with all my might, I couldn't open it. It'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. What? Eh? Uh, what do you mean you couldn't open it? Why? That's not possible. She, she's right. It's impossible. Because I went through the door, it opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. Though I don't understand what forces are at work here. 
There's no denying that we have been locked inside this classroom. I feel bad judging voices just based on how they look. I feel- uh, give me some sort of personality, please! Locked inside? What do you mean? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt. As though a feeling of unspeakable dread began setting, settling on my shoulders. Are we screwed? M maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous? Okay, for someone with such pointy teeth, you seem more cowardly than I expected. But hello? This is... Or perhaps... Doesn't it make more sense to think this is the entrance exam? The entrance exam? You mean Hope's Peak Academies? However... But according to Hope's Peak Academy, there is no such entrance... No such entrance exam exists. But... They say that... They may say that publicly, but it's possible that this is actually a special entrance exam. That's wrong! Who are you? You're wrong. This is not an entrance exam. What? What was that just now? Hey, bastard. Hey, fat ass. Why'd you make that cutesy voice all of a sudden? Rude! Hmm. I won't dispute your blunt remark about my weight, but that voice you just heard was not mine. Huh? Huh? And then whose is it? Um, um it's actually mine. <laughs> who's there? Where are you? She's so mad. Where are you? Perhaps. It sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. Behind the teacher's desk. Hello. All right. I see everyone has arrived. Let's begin. She sounds. The fa voice sounded uh, like fantastical. So I, I went with that. No. Nuh uh. What is that? What the fuck are you talking about, Armor? I am so confused. What? <laughs> um, it looks like a stuffed animal. That's right. I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal. Magical miracle girl Usami, aka Usami. Oh. Alrighty, then. I may not look like it, but I am your squeezably soft teacher. Nice to meet you all. Huh? I hate it. Uh, huh? Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seeing this? What's going on? Nah, I see it too. Huh? What's with this talking chihuahua? Not a chihuahua, honey. Eh? Not a chihuahua? Everyone. Does everybody here know what a rabbit is? It's a lovable animal that's very fluffy and soft. <laughs> that's what I am—a singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot. Oh. Uh, hold on. Let me process this first. Okie dokie. Um. Um. What do you guys think? I've never- uh, I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance, and talk before. It, it's probably remote controlled or something. Don't act like it's such a pussy over a child's toy. You are- You are too cute to be acting this aggressive. Hmm. Even if it's remote controlled, doesn't it look too lifelike? That's pretty advanced for a toy. Stop talking. Its movements and mannerisms are not the issue. More importantly, based on what it just said, it seems you know something about our current situation. Leave it to me. Of course I do. I'm the lead teacher of this school trip. What did you say? School trip? Come on. Hey, what do you mean school trip? <laughs> a large group of students go on a chaperone trip with a lead teacher. This is the biggest event of the school year. We're we're not looking for such a literal answer. <laughs> Now let's depart for the fun school trip! Depart? But we gotta get out of the- What? How? 
Wait. It... Emotional damage! I... Alrighty then. I couldn't believe my eyes. Not just my eyes, but my brain, too. The world just stopped making sense. The classroom collapsed like a stage set, and what appeared before me instead was blue sky, white clouds, blue sea, white waves. What the hell is this? I would love to know the answer myself there, Hajime. No matter how I tried to rationalize it, it was abnormal. Clearly unreasonable. Utterly crazy. Blatantly wrong. Um. Dread song, though. Oh. oh, he is freaking out. What? Are you kidding me? Right? Emergency! Well, where are we? A beach, obviously. Why? Huh? W what's going on? Everyone. Please stay calm. <laughs> there is no reason to panic. See? Look around. Feast your eyes on this beautiful ocean. It's like your heart is being washed clean, isn't it? Maybe. If we knew how we got here. It washes away everything, even all the bad things. Hold on. Hold on. Give us the details. Where in the world are we? Um... Where, you ask? Well, obviously, we're <laughs> out where it's better. Out where it's wetter. Out by the sea. I hate this pink thing. I hate her so much. <laughs> I, I understand this is the sea, but... Oh, what are we doing here? Um, you know, your throat's gonna get worse if you keep screaming like that. Something like this. But, oh, we were just at school and now we are by the sea. This is impossible. No problem. Please do not worry. The school trip has just started. That's all. Hold on a sec. But, like, where? why are we on a school trip all of a sudden? You totally skipped all the stuff that comes first. Sh she's right. We're all supposed to be attending Hope Speak Academy. I see. Ah, Hope Speak Academy. I see, I see. You don't say. You guys are feeling unsure about Hope Speak Academy. Then, in that case... Alrighty. Please forget about Hope Speak Academy. <laughs> That's why we're having a school trip in the first place. What? Huh? The hell do you mean we should forget about it? Come on. Hey, what are you? Just what are you scheming? Oh, uh, oh what? I'm not scheming anything. I'm doing this for everyone's sake. I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that hope will grow within everyone's heart. What is happening? What is happening? No problem. There's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever. So please, there's no, there's no need to worry at all. Wait. Island? Did you just say island? <laughs> yep, it certainly is beautiful. It was, it was prepared just for us. An island free from other people and danger. Are you saying this island is uninhabited? <laughs> Perhaps you brought us to this uninhabited island to make us kill each other? Ooh. You are... Very close there, my guy. Who are you? That is the, that is the name of the game. Huh? G kill each other? That's... Nuh-uh. No way. Haughty business. Like causing violence or inflicting pain is a big no-no on this island. Even the word kill. Just saying it horrifies me. Yeah. Yeah? So scary. 
I hate her. I hate her so much. What are you thinking? I I think I prefer Monokuma. When is he coming in? <laughs> he is coming in, right? <laughs> then what is this school trip you mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on this island? <laughs> Alrighty! I shall announce it to everyone right now! Got it? And while y'all relax on this island paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with one another. That is the main rule on this heart-throbbing school trip. Heart-throbbing. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> he doesn't like it either. Heart-throbbing school trip. That's right. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lacing about. Free from pain. Free from suffering. Truly, this lovely dub lovey dubby heart dubbing school trip is everyone's homework. What? What the hell does that even mean? Now then, let the heart dropping school trip begin. I hate her. It goes without saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. I couldn't follow her words at all. And then, just like that, like a curtain slowly lowering. My mind ground to a halt. Okay, so your name is Chiaki. Sonia. No, Sonia, never mind. Akane. can't read the ones that are sideways. Oh, that's terrifying. Hi, Claire! Dangan Island. Oh, alrighty then. I'll learn all your names eventually. I can't, I'm not going to attempt to read sideways when, when it's going so fast. I think I have more questions at the start of this game than I did with the first one. <laughs> yes, I guess. You would think if I played hey. this game before, I would remember this shit. <laughs> Can you hear me? Are you okay? I don't know. What do you think? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. <laughs> hey, are you listening? God, tell you, my guy. I have no idea. Hey, are you sure you're okay? Leave me alone. Th there's no way I can leave someone alone when they look that pale. White sandy beach. Crystal blue ocean. The sun's rays beaming down on me. This soft tropical wind brushing my ski <laughs> skin. Skin. Oh, why did I feel like I was going to sneeze? I... Definitely don't know what's going on. I was supposed to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Why did this... Why am I here at a place like this? That rabbit thing said we're on a tropical island. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I have no idea what's going on. That's the only thing I can say with absolute certainty. Welcome to Dongan Island. I will explain the basic controls to you. With the left stick, you can maneuver the reticle on the screen. If the reticle responds, press the A button. You can examine that person or object. Also, you can shift your point of view with the right stick. Plus, if you press the... Diamond. Di... I'm using an Xbox controller! What? What button is that? If you press the 
diamond button. Oh, I have a PlayStation controller somewhere. I need to figure that out. Hold on, I'll be right back. Glad I remember that this is a PlayStation game where I would have no idea what's going on. Okay. <laughs> oh, did we? I kind of want to... I want to look. Oh, I want to look. Is it on Twitter? Or is it in the Discord? Because I'm not on the Discord. I don't... <laughs> Why would I teleport chat somewhere that I wouldn't want to go? This looks like hell. Decent sleep, hon. Okay, so if you press the X button, you can use a mysterious power to see everything you can. The world sure has become a super convenient. Super bleh. The world sure has become super convenient if you're able to do all this from the get-go. Now then, please stretch, search this beast thoroughly and progress the story. Or oh, is it not the X? It was Y. Then why did you say triangle? Okay. Uh huh. Is that a camera? A surveillance camera? <gasps> yes, please. Please send. I want to see her. Are we being monitored or something? That's not it. I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're being just being watched for our safety. <laughs> well, it's a waste of time to think about I think about it. That's not to worry. I want that carefree attitude of yours, my guy. What's with this guy? How can he be so calm in a situation like this? Maybe he's just a chill guy, I guess. I want monitor. Why is there a monitor in the f in, a, in a place like this? The screen is blank. What is this being used for? <laughs> oh, please no. Oh, she's adorable. She's so cute. Alright, that distraction's over, but oh, she's a door. Okay, look at the tree. <laughs> oh, why am I sneezing? <laughs> I guess it makes sense for there to be palm trees on our tropical island. What? That's a mighty fine palm tree. But that's not. But now's not the time for me to be impressed by it. Okay, we're talking this. <laughs> He just wiggles. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. He's going all out. Before I get to that guy, I should try to understand the situation I'm in first. But, I, oh, beach. Look at the ocean. The crystal clear, shining blue sea. It's perfect for a tropical island. What's going on here? I never wanted anything like this at all. Hey. So, are you feeling? How are you feeling? Are you calmed down now? Um, I understand your confusion after everything that's happened, but why don't we start with an introduction? Introduction. I'm Nagito Komaeda. Nice to meet you. Hi, Nagito. You're pretty chill. Ultimate lucky. Oh, okay, so the we're not the lucky student. 
Is there pictures of, of the outfit she's gonna get or no? Ah, along with my introduction, I guess I'll also tell you about my talent so you know why Hope Speak Academy chose me. Well, even if I tell you, in my case, it's a pretty disappointing talent. A disappointing talent? What do you mean? I'm lucky. What are you talking about? That's not it. It's not a joke or anything. It's my actual talent. I'm the ultimate lucky student. At least, that's what I'm called, anyway. Ultimate lucky student? You're right. Through a countrywide lottery, apparently only one ordinary student is selected at random to attend. Host Peak Academy as the ultimate lucky student. And that lucky winner just so happened to be me. Chosen by a lottery. Is that really okay? I mean, is luck even a real talent in the first place? How strange. What happened? Your face looks troubled. Oh, no. I'm not troubled or anything. No, it's fine. I have mixed feelings about this, too. Someone like me? I never thought an average, talentless high school student like me could ever enter Hope Speak Academy. At first, I declined. I told them I didn't deserve it. But they told me that they really wanted me to attend. Apparently, this so-called luck of mine is a talent that even the school doesn't fully understand. To research it, the school picks the ultimate lucky student every year through an annual lottery. <laughs> Hope's Peak Academy is amazing if they can actually research something as vague as luck. Well, thanks to that luck, a guy like me was able to attend Hope's Peak Academy. So for that, I'm grateful. This is troubling. But on the other hand, I feel a little out of place here. Ah, sorry. I have a bad habit of viewing most things through a pessimistic lens. Um, yeah. So, that's it for my introduction. Hmm. Nagito Ko Komeda. Huh. He doesn't seem like the most reliable guy, but he doesn't strike me as a bad person either. Hey. Now then, it's your turn. Yeah. I'm Hajime H Hinata. Mm. Then, let me ask you a question. What is your ultimate talent? Um, I... 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 I opened my mouth, but the words would not form. I felt my thoughts stalling in my head. As if I opened a book expecting to find words, and instead found blank pages. It was that kind of uncomfortable feeling. The memory I was trying to recall had completely vanished from my mind. <laughs> uh-huh. Without realizing it, my body began to shudder as waves of discomfort began pounding against me. What happened? <sighs> Hajime, what happened? Ah, it's nothing. I guess I'm still pretty confused about all this. I'm having trouble remembering some things. I understand how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting into a situation like this. <laughs> I'm sure you'll remember w soon once you've settled down. So, I don't think you need to worry about it all that much. You're... right. Yep. Then I guess we're done with our introductions for now. Even though I don't know what's going on, I hope we can get along. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is a hope fragment?! Hey, did something just beep? What, what a weird sound. I hastily took my hand in my pocket. That's right. That strange mechanical sound just now definitely came from the inside of my pocket. What, what the hell is this? It's like a PDA or a smartphone. Wh why is something like this inside my pocket? Are you okay? You saw me was passing them out earlier. Remember? <laughs> oh, right. You seem pretty out of it when that was going on. N now that you mention it, I think I kind of remember, but what is this? It's an e-handbook! Oh fuck, she's back. Oh, that's cool. Her, does, her outfits look amazing as well. It sucks that she got scanned, though. Hey, Allie, how are 
you? What the? Where'd you come from? I'm sorry. Oh, did I startle you? I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to apologize like a good girl. Um, anyway, then don't you think it's cool? That handbook is absolutely vital for this school trip, so make sure you don't lose it. Th this device is that important? I shall explain. I asked everyone to use their e-handbook to gather all the all of the hope fragments. Hope fragments? That's right. Um, on this island, you'll attain hope fragments as you get along with your classmates. As your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. Gather hope fragments so that the hope flower of hope achieves its full bloom. Truly, that is the main purpose of this school trip. Love, love. I hate her. Hey! She's gone. A soft animal that moves, talks, and also appear appears wherever and whenever she wants. Regardless of who's actually controlling it, it still doesn't make any sense. And what was all that about? Hope fragments. What's her deal? It's like we're in a game or something. <laughs> if this is if this feels like a game, that's rather comforting. That means we aren't going to be in any danger right away. It, you're probably right, but more importantly, don't you want to know anything about the other students yet? You don't know about bleh, I misread that. You don't know anything about the other students yet, right? Yep. Then I think it's best you, you at least introduce yourself to them. Th that's also true, but where did everyone go? Perhaps maybe they're exploring the island as well. Exploring the island? Hey. As long as we're expected to live on this island, we should learn as much as we can about it. For example, what's this island's name? Is there a way to escape? What about food and living arrangements? So, why don't we finish introducing ourselves to the others and explore the island at the same time? I pretty much went around and introduced- There's nothing there. Paranoia, hello. I pretty much went around and introduced myself, introduced myself to everyone already, but I'll tag along with you. So now he's decided to come along. Come. Okay, he's, he's gonna be my friend. I am making him my friend. Well, I guess that's helpful for me. I know I'd worry if I was left out- I left on my own. All right. Shall we get going then? She doesn't even answer. All right. I Hajime's a little rude, but is this really okay? <laughs> oh, what is happening? Not again. To feel so relaxed in such a strange situation. Perhaps it's the tropical and climate. Or is it that? <laughs> or is it that? Oh, what's her name? Usami's fault? Uh, what happened? What is it, Hajime? Let's get going. Uh, right. Got it. At any rate, this is a nightmare. I have no idea if it's even started yet. Sheesh. What kind of nightmare is that? Yeah, Hajime, stop bringing the fourth wall. <laughs> Oh, but I hate that you're suffering. I hope it gets better for you, Allie. And thank you. I hope my allergies didn't just decide to start back up. But I, I am for sure out of medicine this time. You are now able to use the handbook. You can use it to check various information throughout the game. You can open the e-handbook with the X button. Why do you... I hate this. It's super easy. It includes the guidelines of the school trip and the report card, which documents everybody's information. There are various features inside the handbook. You can also save and load your game inside the handbook. Please check out the system page as well. But wait, there's more. You can also view the transcript with the back button. That's all there is about the handbook. I strongly recommend you play around with it yourself. Now then, please go forth and look for everyone else. Oh, right. You can exit the beach with the B button. Why is the Y button the only one they didn't- they- they use a, a shape for? Why? Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna see if both blowing my nose will help.
Okay, I see if I can say that. Great armor! Stop going around saying I have an addiction! I don't hug everything I see! And yeah, I am playing on a computer. I only really have a PC. So I can't play on anything else unless I get it. Okay, I can't unlock the map. I don't know what this is. Presents, report card, reg regulations. Uh, rule one. Extreme violence is prohibited on this island. Please live peaceful and relaxing lives with your fellow students. Rule two. Be considerate of each other and work together, together to obtain hope fragments. Rule three. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. Rule four. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. An exception to this rule is made if any student violates a rule. Okay, so that one's pretty similar to the first game. Where Monokuma couldn't uh, interfere. The rest of this seems... Contradictory to the first game. Pet, pet. So I have... I have an egg. I can't do anything with it. So, uh, okay. Okay, so we know her name. Ouch. Okay, so we know you, and we know you, and we know that. But oh, this guy looks cool. <laughs> it does look like a Tamagotchi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is everyone. I just don't know their names yet. I know I don't have any presents. I can't do anything with you or with you. Oh, I might want to turn the volume down a little more. It is a ringing in my ear. Yeah, that's not where I had, it. I had you before. Can we stay at that volume, please? You gotta turn it up in OBS, but... Can we not change the volume again? Because that's where I had it before I started the stream, and then... And we are leaving. Hey. Ah, uh, about exploring the island. It appears a map of this island has been installed on this e-handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find everyone easily. But it Actually, wasn't working just now! To be honest, before I arrived at the school, I did some research about how about everyone on the on the internet. I haven't learned everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. Wait, you can research stuff like that on the internet? Huh? Eh? You don't know? The school is so popular, there are message boards online dedicated to talking about its students. Then was I also? Hmm. Hmm. I don't recall seeing your name there. I probably overlooked it. How unexpected. Well, it's not your fault if you can't remember. I'm sure my name was mentioned on there. It's not a mistake I was accepted into Hope the Academy. Yep. Anyway, I'll help out too. So why don't we begin making your introductions? Uh, okay. You're right. So, first I need to introduce myself to everyone else on the island's island, then... Oh, I should apologize. There is something I forgot to tell you. If you look at the map in your hand e handbook, you'll be able to see where everyone is. You can also instantly travel to any location displayed as go. Also, when you travel to a point with an exclamation mark, the story will progress. It's super convenient. Now then, let's go. Why didn't you tell me that before? First island. Travel on the island can be done through this screen. You can move with the left stick. You can run by holding the B button while you move. If you press the left and right directional buttons, you can instantly move to the next area. In the reticle responds, you can go inside places by pressing the A button. Well, you've probably realized it by now, but you can, but you happen to have your very own pet inside your E hand. I did notice that, yes. Your pet grows based on the number of steps you take, so try walking to places instead of using the map jump. So there at my instant teleport tech, uh, option. I want to grow my pet. <laughs> when you finish raising your pet, there may be a, be a small reward. 
What reward? Oh, your two favorite characters are here? Let me know when they, when they pop up. And yeah, it is the beginning, Bloom. It very much is. I played the first game on stream and I gave myself a little break and now I'm back into the, I'm into the second one. Oh, so, I just, it, so that's where I'm at. Oh, and it shows you who's where. Okay. There are actually four games because <laughs> there's the these two, the first one and the and this one, and then I'm pretty sure there's a third one that came out, and then there's the like little RPG uh, spinoff one as well. I think I have all of them but the third one. Why don't we talk about the spinoff? Is it is it bad? I have it. <laughs> is it bad? Hey, I love the first. I love the first game. The first game was a lot of fun. Okay, we're at an airport. Can we just fly off? Can I fly off? Oh, then what's the third one? Kind of there. <laughs> you are being snarky. Oh, is it uh, the one in yellow and the one in black? Are those your favorites? They're together. How convenient. <laughs> So those things over there must be airplanes? Couldn't we use those planes to escape this island? Ugh. Nah, that's impossible. If they were damaged, I could fix them. But it looks like these planes are just for show. Just for show? Man. The engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do nothing nothing I can do about that. Completely removed? Whoever brought us to this island must have done must have done also done that, right? The same person who's controlling that stuffed animal, Usami. But who is doing this? And why did they bring us to the, this island in the first place? And how did they do it? The more I think about it, the less sense it makes. That's right. Oh yeah, that reminds me. You and me haven't been introduced yet, right? Name's Kazuichi Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. Nice to meet ya. Kazuichi Soda. <laughs> I love how he says his name. His, his, his voice is cute. I can't say I like the pink, but he's cute. And you're, you're a mechanic. Oh, that explains why you said you could fix You were pretty sure you could fix it if it was broken. Okay. As expected from, some, from someone called the ultimate mechanic, Kazurichi is a savant when it comes to fixing machines. If he says it's impossible to fix the plane, it's truly beyond repair. Hey. Even so, to totally remove the engine, whoever is keeping us here must have planned this to a T. You think so too, huh? Doesn't that seem pretty strange to you? That was close. Yeah, it's pretty strange. But I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? Huh? I mean... Well, think about it. It's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. Uh... That was mentioned in the safety precautions for the school trip. Remember? The school trip guidelines ran in the e-handbook. Extreme violence is prohibited on this island. Please live peaceful and relaxing lives with your fellow students. Rule 2. Be considerate of each other and work together to obtain hope fragments. 
Rule three, littering is not allowed. Let us coexist on this island's bountiful, with this island's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. Le rule four, the lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. An exception to this rule is made if any student violates a rule. How do we cheat For and now. sell energy soda? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> What's incel? It looks like we're being kept safe, so why wouldn't there this be like any other school trip? Hmm. There's nothing dangerous on this island. What the fuck was on the corner? Hello? Oh, it's luggage. Oh, that's cool. Whose luggage is it? I don't think we brought any. Who's who? Who do these bags belong to? Spend these peaceful and relaxing days, nourishing hope. Just as Usami said earlier, it seems these rules are in place to help us do that. Are you saying you believe what that thing told us? She forces us to come here, you know. But don't be such a pessimist. You said you were a pessimist. Why is it okay for you and not for me? Okay, we might not be best friends. <laughs> you should look at this situation with a bit more hope, you know. Optimism is essential for people who live satisfied lives. That's right! Yeah, I guess it's okay to just enjoy our vacation and see how this whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> <laughs> If you stare closely at that strange looking bunny girl, she might start looking pretty cute. No. I'm actually jealous of how carefree he's being right now. Ah, I got a hope fragment. Okay, who are you? You fiend. What? Stop right there. If you value your life, do not come any cl ba Not come any cl Why? <laughs> what will happen? Huh? Fine. How deep is your voice? Why are there so many deep voice characters in this game? I can't go that low! I said stay back. Oh, very well. I shall accept that courage of yours. What's this guy talking about? <laughs> Would you like to know my name? A little bit. Kind of. Others may see your courage as recklessness. However, I welcome it. Got it? Listen well. In honor of your courage, I shall reveal my name to you, my name. <laughs> I know he's trying to look all menacing, but he kind of looks adorable. Look at the little smile. <laughs> you may never forget it as may you never forget as long as you live. You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Remember it well, for it is the name that will one day rule this world. Gundam! <laughs> like the mech? Like the mech anime? What he's saying and what his title, his ultimate is, is not crossing. Breeder. Ultimate breeder. Are you going to take over the world of your animals? Because I am behind that. I am 100% behind that. R rule this world? He's kidding, right? If he's actually serious, that's pretty out there. Let me ask. I can die. I'll die happy then. <laughs> now then, 
It is my turn to ask questions. Whose master are you? Eh? You! Which tribe did you make your pact with? Answer me! Uh huh. What do you mean, pact? Burn in the fires of pandemonium! <laughs> Answer me now, though I shall cast you into a watery grave once you do. Then it's best if I don't answer! Perhaps? I think he's asking if you used to have a pet. Pet? No, the only animal I've taken care of was our hermit crab we passed around elementary school. Impossible! So, a mere insect? Face your powerlessness! Ha! <sighs> your magic essence caps at a lowly five. Trash! D don't diss hermit crab. What the fuck, dude? T trash! Oh, really? Meal. <laughs> Is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare to speak to one as grand as me. Okay. What are your pets, bitch? My name is Gundam Tanaka. Oh my god, they're adorable. Are they, where did they come from? Are they just living in a scarf? I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can get rid of the, the box at the bottom. I, I don't know. I don't know if you can. But there's a fourth one. Just behind the text, just balancing on his two fingers. I can't, how? I want a full image of this. Supreme Overlord of I, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I do not bow to anyone when it comes to ice. I do not bow to anyone when it comes to ice. We're gonna have issues. Who do you think I am? I am the great and powerful Gundam Tanaka, the supreme overlord of ice. We might have issues. I, I'm, I'm on a controller. Will it work? Oh, it will. Look, look, look at him. He has one just on his, on his finger. I wonder what happened to its ear. Well, it, it's so cute. It's. <gasps> I have issues with him calling himself the Supreme Overlord of Ice, but he has little hamsters. <gasps> Eliana, hi, hello. You have to. I'm coming to me just squealing over the cute little hamsters this guy has. But hold on a minute. Something strange just came out of your scarf. This is the Tanaka Empire! That was just napping! It's just napping in his arms! What the fuck? Are, they, are the other three laughing at me? <laughs> is that what's happening? Am I getting laughed at by hamsters? Taming evil by using myself as a bet. Truly, this is the secret art of the Tanaka Empire. <laughs> it's like something you'd see on a nature show. I guess he totally fits the bill of the ultimate breeder. <laughs> One of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage Goldenhawk Junpei, <laughs> has this to say. We're not used to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You wouldn't like us when we're angry. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Maybe not right now. Let me try to see if I can figure it out on my own. <laughs> this guy's actually kind of precious. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't. I can't. 
got a hope <laughs> fragment. So hey. Um, yeah. I know he seems a little odd, but apparently he did splendidly as a member of the breeding club. I've already contained any animal and even managed to succeed at proliferating an endangered species. Rumor has it he can speak to animals. Well, that's probably just a joke. To speak with animals? Well, he's really eccentric enough in that regard. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters inside their own scrap. I would. I try. Uh, right here. <laughs> if I could figure it out, I would definitely, I would definitely try. Don't knock it. Okay, I know about the monitor. To go so far as to completely remove the plane's engine. Do they want to keep us here that badly? For what purpose? <coughs> I am I am understanding why he would be your favorite. He, he's kind he's kind of a sweetheart. What the fuck? And then his board Dark Davis are references to different manga magazines. Junpei is referred to Shonen Jump, for example. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's amazing, Allie. You hashtag? I walked a little bit. No. I don't like there's like a little like Usami doll in there. I would also love to know what that hope meter and despair meter is. I'm terrified. Ooh, butterflies. We have Rocket Punch Market. Is it a convenience store? Surfboards. And wet tubes. Nice. So this is the supermarket. It's pretty big. If we're on a tropical island, does that mean we're in international waters? You're right. Thanks to this place, we won't need to worry about food and other necessities for a while. For a while? Wow. It is just a figure of speech. But there's no guarantee that anything here is edible. What if all this stuff is poison? What? Um, you certainly are the skeptical type. Of course I am. Even the supermarket is strange. Look around! We're in this gigantic supermarket and there's nobody else here except us. Hmm. Well, that can't be helped. Didn't Usami say this island is uninhabited? Th that's exactly my point. Ugh. What happened? It's nothing. D Hello? She's staring at me funny. Um. Uh. Uh. Um. Um. You know. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, honey? Sweetie? Are you okay? W why is she crying? Hajime. Bullying a girl. Not cool, Hajime. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Ah, so your name is Hajime. If it's okay with you, may I please remember your name? E yes? Uh, of course. I don't mind you remembering it, but... M my name is Mikan Sumiki. Um, from the bottom of my heart, I hope we can get along. Ultimate nurse. Did she get the pressures from bandaging herself? Cause she, well, her, she looks hurt. <laughs> uh, Mikan is my weirdest relationship with the person I've ever. My brain tells me she spells that, and I don't know why. Rude, but all right. You have any other fictional character? And she has a thing to do with. Why would you want to push her down the stairs? You most definitely crave chaos. <coughs> um, you know. Um, 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 um. Uh, my mind is drying up blank from nervousness. And I went through all the trouble repairing 5,000 different topics. 
topics to discuss after introductions. Oh, that seems excessive. Honey! <laughs> Honey! It's okay if you take your time and we're slowly. We'll wait as long as it takes. We'll wait for you forever if that's what it takes. You can! <laughs> uh, isn't he just putting more pressure on her? Well, I guess I'll just ask you since you, I won't get anywhere asking her, so... What's her deal? Ah, uh, Mikan is the ultimate nurse. If you ever get injured, you'll need her help. So it's best if you get along with her now. If you get wounded and don't treat it, there's a good possibility you'll die, get an infection, and die. You get on me for being a pessimist. Don't say something so morbid so naturally. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for laughing so suddenly. <laughs> it's just, I can't help it. I'm just so happy. I can't remember the last time I made any friends. Uh, I'm sorry. mad that you actually want to be friends with me. I'm so sorry I said something so presumptuous. Uh, honey? I don't do anything you say. Just please don't hate me. Man. Boy and girl. Not cool. Hajime. Seriously, why does this keep happening? Uh, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. Time at Hope Prime with that. How did I get to level two? You guys want to push Nagito down the stairs? Peeking! Peeking! Hello? Hello! Oh, hi! Who are you? Uh, um... I'm Hajime Hinata. Hello! Uh, hello? Your tension is super low! Are you feeling alright? Oh! Oh, that's right. Introductions are a go-go. E, Buki, Mio, Da. Put it together and what do you get? E, Buki, Mio, Da. She is high energy. She is high energy. Ultimate musician. Okay. You're on the hate Mikon side, but you love Ibuki. Alright. I usually don't get along with the high high energy people, so this might be a challenge. Alright. Introductions are finished. And more importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. Bombastic. Bombastic, that's what it was. I see, I see. They got hamburger, ramen noodles, chili beans, bratwurst, pasta. Oh, melons! No problemo! What was her nose? What happened to her face? Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians. And even people from Yubari would shop here. Yahoo! Man, I'm getting hella stoked. I'm 31 flavors of stoked for all of this deliciousness. <laughs> when I'm excited, I get hungry mungry. Hungry mungry. <laughs> I, I don't understand it myself. Why do I get hungry when I'm excited? Why do I get excited when I'm hungry? <laughs> <laughs> Body sure is a mystery. <laughs> um, this energetic young lady is known as the ultimate musician. She used to play guitar in an all-girl band that was super popular with other high school girls. Apparently, after the, their hit single, After School, 
Echo Yon Yon Hour sold over a million copies. A super popular all girl high school band. That sounds familiar. What? Due to creative differences, she left the band to pursue a solo career. Creative differences? Oh my my! Are you interested? Wah! You can hear me? <laughs> Duh! Ibuki's a musician, after all. Guitar! Like Schubert, Bach, Edson, Fungo, Perez, and Senna. I, too, am an awesome musician. Oh, so you're saying you have good hearing. Wait, most of those people you've mentioned weren't musicians at all. <laughs> Tell us about the details. I don't know how I feel about this girl. <laughs> Yeah, Mongo was a painter. I think most of the ones she mentioned weren't. I think Bach was probably the only one that was a musician. Okay, so we have two people who were on the hate me gun side. And love Ibuki. I don't know how I feel about Ibuki. I'm really bad with high energy people. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. That's one big cola bottle. I bet it go flat before you can even finish drinking it. Monomo! It looks like Monokuma. It looks like a vending machine, but nothing for some money. Do I have to use some type of coin? It's a surfboard. That being said, I'm not in the mood for water sports. Well, you are stuck on this island, that makes sense. So these are military goods, huh? They even carry night vision goggles. I can't believe the store market even sells stuff like this. That is a surprise. I don't want to talk to Mika. I want to. I can't look at the lizards. <laughs> Thick cola. It. A little bit. Okay. After every play, I'm gonna check the pad. Have you hatched? No, you haven't. Oh! Until next growth is 49. Okay. Oh, wrong one. Why did it say STR2 was not acceptable? Alright. Mm. Oh, wow. This is a pretty nice hotel. Perhaps? The Hotel Mirai, huh? It looks like it's named for the Japanese word for future. When we were told to live on this island, I was worried we'd have to pitch a tent or something. I'm glad. If we live in a grand hotel like this, I don't think we'll have to worry about being comfortable. Comfort isn't an option here. We don't even know why we're being forced on this island. How can you just accept this? You're way too excited about living here. Hey. Well, it seems obvious that this air area would make a good base. So why don't we take a look around for a bit? Why is this guy so calm? It's like he doesn't think the situation is a big deal at all. Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? A map will be displayed when you have to... I'm saying that's triangle! Because last time it showed that button, it was Y. It didn't follow the PlayStation controls. I said the Y button. Don't make me repeat myself. Tutorial getting snappy. Okay. Oh, so we already have all of them assigned. Mine is here. Look at this my little meat plate. That's cute. Can I slide? This guy seems to be a makeshift hotel guest room. 
Okay, so I can't go inside. Do you read future as furniture? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, there's you. How short is this character? Hello? Oh, we are. We are, we are neighbors to Soda. You're right, you're right. You are tiny. Hajime, you are tiny. Change it from Makoto's heights. Oh no! So he's not actually this tiny. It's just. Okay, do I talk to Crude Man? Or Crude. Or Cute Pissy One? There's two that way. So I can start here and then work my way around. Got it. Do I get. Okay, what is with. Wah! Hello? What? Oh, you're cute. I, I need you presents. I don't have anything. But I can give you presents. Okay. Hi. You're cute. That shouldn't have startled me, but it did. Okay, so Hajime is 5'9". He does not- he, he does not interpret as 5'9". <laughs> hmm. That's right. You haven't told me your name. Oh! My name! I am the ultimate team manager! Nekomaru Nidai! Team manager? That could be an ultimate? What? Okay. Uh, um, hello. I'm Hajime Hinata. Your voice is too soft. Hold it right there. Your voice is too soft. Let your voice rise from the bottom of your stomach. Uh, um, I'm Hajime Hinata. <laughs> I don't want to yell, my guy. I don't want to yell. No! You can be louder than that. Do it again. Okay. I want to go downstairs when I'm done here, and my mom is going to ask questions. Get it, even if you go to hell. Why am I going to hell? You, you already said that! I'm the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai. You don't have to repeat your name so much. I won't forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I agree to your terms. He, he sure is boisterous. It's not just his voice, his whole body seems loud. Yep. Neko Maro Nidai is known as the ultimate team manager. The ultimate team manager? So he's not on a team, he just manages one? Nope. He's not just a team manager. After all, he's an ultimate. He, tra he traveled to numerous towns and played an active role in various sports clubs managing their teams. For instance, he led some high school rugby team full of delinquents to victory in the national playoffs. He also rescued a baseball club on the verge of being shut down, and led them to a national victory as well. Rumor has it, he's even training that famous Japanese pitcher who plays in the American League. It, if that's all true, he totally deserves to be called the ultimate team manager. But... <laughs> at least he's happy. But with a build like his, 
He'd be better off playing on a team instead of managing it. This guy is 6'4! Okay, so this height difference might might be accurate. friendly and shit to me, dumbass. This guy is already in a crappy mood. Are you? What are you looking at? You got something you want to save, bastard? Now, now. Uh, relax, Fuyuhiko. We're only here to introduce ourselves. Huh? What? Introduce yourselves. Hey. See? You haven't been properly introduced to each other, right? <laughs> Name's Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. Just so we're clear, I don't plan to act friendly and shit with you guys. Got it. Ultimate, ya Ultimate Yakuza. That's a thing. Oh, so Hajime is actually taller than the average. Okay. Shorter? Oh, honey. Oh, you're precious. He's standoffish like a cat. Even though he's got a baby face, he's also incredibly rude. Um. Fuyuhiko is a high school student and heir to the Kuzuru. Kuzuru clan. Eh. The Kuzuru clan. Don't tell me he's. Yep. I'm sure you've at least heard of them before, right? The Kuzuru clan is the largest criminal syndicate in the nation, with a membership surpassing 30,000. How admirable. Which means he's the ultimate Yakuza. The, the heir to a Yakuza clan. And it's the Kuzuru clan, no less? Actually. By the way, mentioning his baby face around him is expressly forbidden. So you better be careful. You'll run out of fingers before he's done with you. Got it. Can't see me, but I just saluted. Got it. Th that was close. I nearly lost all my fingers. Nagano, you're like my savior or something. <laughs> <laughs> you're just exaggerating. Uh, guess not. Hey, bastard! If we're all done here, how about you dumbasses make like a tree and fuck off? That Kuzu, honey, sweetie, that's not how trees work. played the first game. Okay. A hero was the uh, ultimate clairvoyant. He wasn't the best clairvoyant, but he was the clairvoyant. He is one of the original dumbass himbos. But he put the himbos to shame because he was not bright. He was not bright at all. He was just there to be there. 
<laughs> we have 30% accurate predictions. Because it's Hero, and that's the kind of luck he has. She does look a little bit like the Wendy's logo, too. You are, you are correct. Hey, aren't you the guy who was squatting on the beach earlier and burying your face in your arms? Uh, yeah. You are a boy, right? Hey, you gotta keep it together, you know? At times like this, it's the boy's job to keep the girls safe. Y you're right. Yeah, yeah. Did you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it yet, right? Let's see. I'm Mahiru Koizumi. I'll be counting on you from now on. Hello, Mahiru. The ultimate book was proper. Actually, Mahiru is no, uh, known as the ultimate photographer. She has a promising future as a photojournalist. I'm not an expert on photography, but I hear she's a young ph photographer who has won numerous awards. On that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. The ultimate photographer, huh? Well, there is a camera hanging from her neck. I kind of assumed that already. Aww. Honestly, I'm a little relieved. You guys seem decent enough. Hmm? Decent? <laughs> well, there's a lot of weirdos here. I can't tell if they're really ultimates or, like, just insane. I'm eager to get along with everyone so we can get off this island, but I was worried things wouldn't go well. Get off this island? What do you mean? Huh? Huh? You don't know? And that's what that stuffed animal Usami was saying. After you finish collecting all the hope fragments that you earn by getting along with everyone, come on! This joke of a school trip will be over, and we can all leave this island together. Th that's all we have to do? We can go home? Is that true? Did she really mean that? Jeez! Hey, you should be paying closer attention. This is, like, really important. Hey. Hey, Hajime. Now that you know this, you must feel a little relieved, right? As long as we live here peacefully, we'll be able to leave this island soon enough. So there's no reason for you to act so panicky. But even so, what's the reason? Why do we have to do something like this? I mean, to go through all the effort of bringing us here so we can all live together and get along. It doesn't make any sense. But... I may not know why we're here, but if that's all we have to do to go home, then that's all there is to it. I'm glad. Overall, I'm glad. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. Not a big deal. Really? We're told we're on a school trip without any warning. Then we're taken to a place like this. And then we're told to forget about Hope's Peak Academy. Is he sure this isn't a big deal? Hey! Yes, ma'am. Eh? You don't eh me. What about your introduction? I've been waiting, like, forever, you know? Ah, sorry. I'm Hajime Hinata. Um... It's nice to meet you, too. Hmm. I see. Hajime Hinata, huh? Too bad! Sorry to disappoint you, but I've already made you a mental- made a mental note to remember you as unreliable Hajime. You better do your best! It's gonna be tough for you to change my mind. You better man up and try even harder to do your best. <laughs> I see you're whipped already, Hajime. Got it! I'm talking to both of you! You better man up and do better. Got it? <laughs> Got it! What is with you in wanting to harm the characters in this game? <laughs> hey, Nai Nai, thank you for the bars. Yeah, I know my model froze for a second. It does look a little like bleach seaweed. What's this? What's this old building? Excuse me! Oh. Ah! No, no, no! This old building is in the middle of, re of a reno renovation project, so you cannot go inside. It's dangerous, you know? 
Showing them out of nowhere is even more dangerous. Okay, so we can't go in there. And I don't think there's anyone else outside, so inside we go. Hotel lobby. I'm glad. <laughs> I think he was more shocked than anything, Armor. <laughs> You are pulling out all the redeems, Nightbang. Have you been, hon? But you don't even know why you, you want to do these things. Eh, yeah. Even the inside of this place looks grand, too. If this was really a normal school trip, I'd be smiling by now. But... Why are we the only ones in this hotel? Now, now. It's an uninhabited island. It can't be helped. For an uninhabited island, this hotel looks pretty well kept. And it seems electricity won't be an issue. What in the world is going on with this island? We have, oh, there are games. Oh, I like this place. State your business. Introductions. Well, I just want to introduce myself. Is that all right with you? An introduction. Understood. I don't mind. I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you. My name is Peko Pekoyama. It is nice to meet you too. Why does she have to meet Peko in her name? English doesn't work with an anybody. What do you mean? Okay, so you hate Mika's personality and Nakiko ignores I annoys you. I don't know a lot about them, so I can't say if I agree or disagree. But I, 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 as I get to know them, I'll probably change my mind. <gasps> Your graduation is tomorrow. <gasps> nice! Congrats, Night Bang! That's amazing! And I've been good. I had I'm streaming on what, what is normally my day off. Because I, I did a fuck up and I made my allergies uh, act up during stream yesterday. So I'm I am making up for it now. I'll probably go until Monokuma shows up because I have seen Monokuma in the little bit I uh, have seen of this game, so that uh, I we can start it when I'm feeling a little better, because I think my allergies are coming back, and I don't know why I avoided my cat. Could be the hair. She is shedding. Oh, you're the ultimate swordsman. Oh, that's badass. Actually... This dignified-looking woman is known as the Ultimate Swordswoman. It's hard to believe someone is, with a cute name like Peko Peko Yama could be so skilled with the blade. I've heard she's a kendo master and that most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. Well, there's definitely something up with her. Her eyes are really intense. It appears... If what that rabbit said is true, we are expected to live together on this island. Yeah, you're right. It is necessary for men and women to live together to respect each other. Don't try anything inappropriate. <laughs> I would prefer not to kill anyone. Kill? Isn't that sword on your back made of bamboo? Yes. Though it may seem impossible to kill someone with this, a misaimed blow can be fatal. Well... Well, an aimed blow can be fatal too. Right. I kind of like her. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Now for a different. There's some girl playing an arcade mach ar arcade game, and she looks completely absorbed by it. 
Hajime. You haven't properly introduced yourself to her either, right? It, yeah, you're right. She seems really focused on her game, but I guess I should try to talk to her. Um, excuse me? I'd like to introduce myself. Hey! Hey, Chiaki! <gasps> oh, sorry. I must have been a little focused on my game. <laughs> a little? Are you sure about that? Um, let's see. Oh, right. Introductions. Got it. I'm Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer. Video games are my hobby, and I'm a fan of all genres. I tag back everything I said. She's my favorite. She's my favorite because she's the ultimate fucking gamer. Let's go. Nice to meet you. She is a gamer. She is mine. I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you, too. Yep. Yeah, totally. It seems this conversation is going rather slow. Well, she is gaming right now. Well? It's more like... I'm the kind of person who has to gather my thoughts before I can start talking. Like, I can't talk that well unless I'm already prepared. I've already prepared everything I want to say in my head. Especially when I'm meeting new people. Well, if I get used to them, I can usually talk a little faster. She's so focused on her game, and she hasn't looked at me at all. She may be the ultimate gamer, but how should she be playing video games at a time like this? I would definitely be playing video games at a time like this. <laughs> sleepy. I'm sleepy. Oh, I love her! So, this is the hotel restaurant. Amazing! It's enormous. We could easily hold a banquet here. It ha kind of has this tropical, open country feeling. Open? Even though we're stuck on this island? Hmm. Are we really stuck here? What else could it be? Sorry. Oh well. Let's finish introducing ourselves first. There are two people talking over there. having a hard time because it's full of poison. It really sucks. What's full of poison? Speaking of which, it'd be great if you could use your mouth to suck it out. Ow. I don't know if I've been hanging around you guys uh, too much lately, Roga. But I have a feeling this isn't exactly PG. Like him? Got it. I don't care that you're that you're adorable. Oh no. Um. Poison. I see. H hey. Do you, hey. Hey. Do you guys have a moment? Huh? Whoa. Denied. Denied. Good day. Hello. It is nice to meet you. Hello. My name is Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you, too. Hello there. Why, hello there. You must be the new guy. My name is Teru Teru Hanamura. On the streets, I'm known as the ultimate cook. I don't like how soothing his voice is. But could you guys call me the ultimate chef instead? It has more of a big city flavor to it, you know? I hate your voice is soothing. Fuck off. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> I hope we get along well. I am sorry! Oh, that reminds me that reminds me. I haven't properly introduced myself either. I am terribly sorry to keep you waiting. My name is Sonia Nevermind. Go off it, what now? <laughs> I am a foreign exchange student from a small Euro European kingdom called Novo Selic. I may cause trouble from here and there, but I hope we can get along well. S same here. I hope we get along well too. Get along too. White porcelain skin, sparkling blue eyes, and her hair glitters like glitters like fields of wheat. It's like she has this mysterious charm that I want to gaze at forever. <laughs> Are you enchanted? Well, that probably can't be helped. She's known as the ultimate princess. Which means she's actually roy actual royalty. The ultimate princess? Normally I'd be surprised to hear that, but it's not just her beauty. She's just so graceful. I'm completely at ease even though she's a real princess. Um, um, this may be rude of me to say, but truthfully, I feel happy. Huh? What are you happy about? I, in my home country, I... I did not have a single friend my age whose standing in society matched my own. <clears throat> so, to be able to do something like this with everyone is a new experience for me. I shall praise you! I shall extol your virtues! Extol my what? Extol my virtues? T thanks What the- I suddenly feel the urge to drop to one knee and bow. <laughs> Hey, you three. Am I being left off the menu or something? Uh, no, that's not it. <laughs> oh, Teru Teru. It's so like you to check out the restaurant first. As the ultimate chef, do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> I would be lying if I said I wasn't interested. And since I do not want to be a liar, then truthfully... Yeah, I like it. Well, guess that's about it. Though I like the big city flavor of my hometown. A country atmosphere like this is also splendid. <laughs> ah, my nose is getting stuffy again. Hey, are you... Understand. Refined, cultured, guilty as charged. No, not that. You just don't seem very worried, huh? Worried? What's there to worry about? Actually, I'm really happy. Happy? Why is that? Mm -hmm. If I can get serious real quick. I have a sneaking suspicion that Miss Pekko is actually a bit of a freak, if you catch my meaning. What do you think? What? Bonjour. She's probably wearing a black thong, too. What are your thoughts on that? Now then, shall we discuss this somewhere privately? Come on, come on, come on, come on! No thanks. Well, putting that aside for now. This might also seem unexpected to you, but I feel like Miss Sonia over there is a good chance of putting out. You see, everybody knows princesses are groomed to that common sense, right? Understand. For example, I can tell her my loins are full of poison and ask her to suck it out. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Is that why he was talking about poison earlier? Um, pardon me. Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> we'll discuss this later. <laughs> I'd better not see you try that again. Mm -hmm. Anyway, when I fantasize about stuff like that, I can't help but look forward to living on this island. <laughs> when it comes to cooking and love, passion is the most important ingredient. I need it. <laughs> please tell me this guy dies first. Please? Please. Please tell me he dies first. I don't like him. I don't want to read his lines. I... I feel unclean. <laughs> no, don't tell me. We're just starting. I... 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 
that a bit. Yeah, don't. Welcome in. Hi. If you don't mind asking, how did you find me? You came in as I am feeling disgusted. I don't like this man. I don't like this boy. I don't like this boy at all. The sky seems dangerous, but uh, for a completely different reason. I don't want his hope fragments. I'm good, thank you. I agree with that. Let's provoke his voice. It might be a little safer. Okay. So I think that's everyone that's here. So we can continue outside. Yeah, I don't want his hope fragments. His bro, I, I, I want nothing to do with this with this boy. Cows! Wrong button. There's a ranch. Usami Corral. This looks like a ranch. So there aren't any animals around. Right? Aw, oh, you found it out! You again! Seriously, where do you keep appearing from? I... I can show up anywhere, anytime. The system allows me to appear anywhere on the island. Ta-da! It's all thanks to this handy dandy magic stick. Magic stick, huh? Is Chef about that toy she's holding? Still, I am quite troubled. A ranch without any moo cows is like a soccer team without any balls. <laughs> you might want to rephrase that. Alrighty! Alrighty! Just leave it to me and my handy dandy magic stick. Bibbity bobbity, bibbity bobbity! What are you doing with that chicken? Bibbity bibbity, bobbity bobbity! Go! Turn into a moo cow! favorite is just yet because I haven't met everyone. Though I have a little bit of a bias because uh, Byakuya was my one of my favorites in the first game and he's in this game. I think. Still confused on that part. I can tell you who I hate though. Terror Terror. I don't like him. I do not like him. Uh, Chiaki is having a close to being my favorite girl. Just mainly because she's just a gamer. I am. I I I'll make my final decisions after uh, I get to know everyone a little bit better. Yeah, now I, I'm lucky I'm playing a boy. Wah! <gasps> huh? <laughs> a huge success. What, what was all that just now? A chicken turn change into a cow? That's not it. Nah, it's probably just some kind of trick or illusion. I bet it was set up before we got here. She was probably trying to make us happy, but I guess it'd have the opposite effect on you, Hajime. A trick? An illusion? Well, if you think rationally, it makes sense. A chicken can't just change into a cow. Messing with living things like that is just not cool, you know? Yeah, but who, who's, who's everyone else's favorite character in this game? Because I have yet to make an actual decision. I just know who I hate. Is that a toucan? A tropical bird. That's what I should call it, right? I have no idea what's going on anymore. Okay, let's go for you. Yo! Hey! Who <laughs> are you dudes? It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Hajime Hinata. Uh, gotcha. And who's this other dude? What? Uh-huh. 
haven't we already met? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I pretty much suck at remembering names, and I've met so many interesting characters today. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow, iBag. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Does Jeffrey count? Jeffrey was a chicken. Oh, a cow. Jeffrey's a cow. Here's we have Mahiru, the photographer. We have Peko, the swordswoman. And then the mechanic, the breeder, and the princess. Alright. I'm Nagito Ko Komeda. If you can, please don't forget my name again. Yo! The name's Akane Owari. Nice to meet ya. Nice to meet you too. Who's the ultimate gymnast? Okay. Well, Akane is known as the ultimate gymnast and an all around super athlete. Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the charts. However, her basics and fundamentals are all over the place. So her gymnastic routines are mostly improvised. If she's in her groove, she performs splendidly. But if she's not, she loses interest and switches it up. How self-centered. No matter how you cut it, she definitely definitely sounds like a troublemaker. Even so, she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason. So her performances must be amazing to see. I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean, she's got the physique of an of an Olympic athlete. What? Uh-huh. Don't tell me you... No one expected. Oh, I get it. So, you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? What is with the boys in this class? You're being really loud. I know you're doing that on purpose. What's this kid doing? She's sitting down and she keeps pressing her finger under the floor with all her strength. Um, are you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? My name is Hajime Hinata. Mm -hmm. I'm Hyoko Sayanji. The ultimate traditional dancer. Squish! Squish! What are you squishing? She has to stop pressing her finger onto the floor. Seriously, what's she doing? And her appearance and voice are so young. I can't believe she's actually a high school student. Actually, Kyoko's talent has made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. It seems her performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly men. It's probably because she looks so young. Her fans probably all have the same niche or something. Squish! Squish! What are you doing? Hey, what exactly are you doing? Hmm? Squishing. Squishing what? Mr. Ants! Duh! What? Mr. Ants, of course! I'm squishing lots of Mr. Ants! Come again? <laughs> <laughs> if you squish their tummies just right, it makes this awesome sound. Thank hey, you! Wanna do it together? Uh, hell no! Oh, okay. <laughs> you wuss. Th this kid... Her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all. I don't think I like her. Those poor ants. Those poor ants. Hajime. Oh, 
Thank you for the head pass. I, she is not precious. Anyone who squishes ants for fun is not precious. They are going to be a future menace to society. Like we, if we go across this bridge, we can reach another island not far from here. Is it safe? <laughs> That's what we're going to find out, right? If it's not safe when we get there, then what will we do? Of course you do, Armor. I mean, yes, society is a, technically a menace. But she isn't going to help it. You can protect her all you want. I want nothing to do with her. I love that the trees are in the way. Oop. You really look like a Tamagotchi. I see a bridge in the distance, but it looks like there's a gate blocking it. It looks like there's another island on the other side of the bridge, but it seems we can't cross it. Yeah, that seems to be the case. It was just starting at five. It doesn't tell me where exactly that is. Bloom, I am worried about your senses of what you need to protect. To each their own! A little worried, though. I need to get that. I, I want to play that with people. I think I need to go to the central. I, I need to stay on central. So nice. Such a laid back attitude. But if we weren't in a situation like this, I'd probably be enjoying some lazy sunbathing myself. If being the key word. How are introductions going? I'd like to inform you about another feature. You may have already noticed, but you have a level assigned to you. Yes, I did notice that. I did ask questions about that. It's displayed at the on the top right corner of your screen. Your level increases by performing various actions such as walking, examining, and talking to others. Every time you level up, you will become stronger than you were before. The number of skills you can equip will also increase, so please try your hardest to level up often. Huh. Okay, so what's different from the first game? Because in the first game, uh, you got more skill points by interacting with the characters. That's also how you got skills as well. But here, you don't need to earn skill points. You just kind of get them with the levels. Alright, that's interesting. Allie, you made a friend. <laughs> it's a bronze statue of various animals. Plus, it's pretty huge. Amazing! Wow, what a grand statue. Yeah, it's grand, but isn't it also kind of creepy? What? You think so? I think it looks splendid. I mean, look at it. It probably symbolizes the whole island. It sure is grand. This island symbol, huh? Alrighty then. What do you want? Is that standoffishness that I love. This guy's presence is overwhelming. He doesn't seem very approachable. Even his body is overwhelming. Hey. Ah, Biakuya. Have time for a small introduction? <laughs> introduction? <laughs> Come on, Hajime. Um, hello. 
My name is Hajime Hinata. My name is Byakuya Togami. The ultimate of ruin, <laughs> Emotional damage! Yeah, Taro, 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 uh, it, he, he did cause emotional damage. I don't, he's not allowed to speak. I'm done. That's it, right? Back off. Uh, I can tell. This guy is thumbing his nose at me. Hmm. Well, I suppose that's Byakuya for you. What do you mean? Actually... That guy is particularly special, even by ultimate standards. He's next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerates. He's already begun managing business operations, and his net worth is, well, enormous. How admirable. It's completely accurate to call him the ultimate affluent progeny. He's the epitome of exceptional. That's like a manga origin story. <laughs> you there, Hajime, was it? Eh? Tell me, why did Hope's Peak Academy choose you? What is your ultimate talent? Um, the, th the thing is, I honestly can't remember. What? You don't remember? <laughs> Apparently, he lost his memory due to shock. He can't really remember much. <sighs> How foolish. Um... Yes? I do believe we have finished talking. How much longer do you intend to stand there? Listen. Move along. That's the only thing you skinny types are good at, it seems. <laughs> Let's just leave, Hajime. Yeah, sure thing. His build and that overwhelming aura of refinement just pushes people away. Is this what it means to be the ultimate affluent project? <laughs> Was that a school bell just now? Huh? Hajime, look at that monitor over there. Congratulations, everyone! It appears that everyone has finished collecting the hope fragments. I'm... I'm so happy! Uh, good for you? So... Prepared a present for everyone that'll make you all very happy. I apologize for the trouble, but please gather at the beach. <laughs> May shining hope be with you all. I got a beach isn't too what far. What to do? She said to meet at the beach. I is that gonna be okay? I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. What? Thinking won't solve anything. We can do that after we go to the beach. Is that precaution really enough? To be honest, I'm really worried. But it would look bad if I was the only one who didn't go. Alright. Yeah, yeah, hightailed it. Is it really? I hate that. At least make your main character different from the first one. I think the beach is this way. Yes, yes it is. I want to check my pet one more time. The beach again. I kind of hate that. Why? I hate it. Such ignorance. You guys are the last to arrive. What are you dilly dallying for? <laughs> Sorry to keep you all waiting. That's fine. Well, it's alright. More importantly, this is our only chance to talk between ourselves before that rabbit returns. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk! Listen. Now then, let me hear your initial impressions of this island. Now that you mention it, I happen to notice numerous blocked off bridges on the central island. Oh! Oh! Those are, are there so everybody doesn't get lost! 
I tried to cross one of them so, and that rabbit showed up and told me and told me. So I'm telling the truth. What? So we don't get lost. Is this island really so big? <laughs> <laughs> but if you look at it in depth, it's just a normal island, right? It's got a resort and everything. Well, not that I've ever been to a resort before, but... Hey, hey! Also, there's a big ranch! Um, um, there's also a large supermarket, too. It looks like it stocks everything from food to living in... Um, uh, amenities. Hmm. The hotel was really nice, too. It'd be a great if we can stay there. <laughs> the restaurant inside the hotel was also very nice. It seemed to cater to our more plebeian taste. Hey. Can you guys listen to what I want to say, too? I found something very important on this island. I can't stop drooling. I thought we revoked your speaking privileges. Girls. Very, very cute girls. <laughs> All over the place. <laughs> Gross! I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> All of you are fools. I can't believe nobody has mentioned the most serious truth. Huh? The most serious truth? Not possible. If no one here realized it, you're all bigger fools than I thought. Huh? What did you say, you fat bastard? Don't be talking all big and shit. Such ignorance. Small dog shouldn't bark so loud. That's Byakuya. He does not- he does not cower even amongst the Yakuza! Most serious truth? What does he mean? Why well, talk to everyone? I'm sorry, I'm sorry Byakuya baby, but I want to talk to everyone else first. Okay, so we do figure out what his ultimate talent is later. Okay, that's good. I, I do want to know what it is. <laughs> I see. So that guy figured it out as well. Hmm? You know too, Gundam? What is it? If you wish to know, you must pay my price. After all, this world is ruled by the law of equivalent exchange. Stay back. However, if someone like you capable of offering a tribute that would satisfy a tyrant such as myself, he probably doesn't know what it is. <laughs> All right, Full Metal Alchemist. I see. I, I mean, I, I want to talk to everybody. I don't want to talk to him, but I'm going to talk to everybody. I'm going to be fair. I'm dragging Nagito with me, though. I don't want to be alone. <laughs> it seems everyone has explored this island. And just as Usami said, there seems to be no danger. Byakuya said he found some something, though. I wonder what it is. What is it? I wonder what Byakuya found. Since he's acting so mysterious and stuff, he probably found something big. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! If you're gonna talk to me about something boring, I'm just gonna swim, okay? Don't just do your own thing. Usami's coming here, too. Uh, let's hurry up. Chop, chop. What a free spirit. <laughs> you sure talk big. Is being an influent progeny for that big of a deal? M Mika, you're, why, why are you all the way back there, hon? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I haven't discovered anything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm such a useless fool. I'm sorry. She doesn't need to cry and apologize so much. I... I think I can see why people don't like her. Hmm. The most serious truth. Oh, she fell asleep! Mm. Uh, I fell asleep. Don't fall 
asleep? How can she be tired right now? Did he really call me a small dog? Wow, he's angry. I shouldn't try to talk to him. But that's when you should try! Don't be you scared! Right. I don't really understand what he means. Listen! Everyone, please be quiet. Ugh. I don't know why, but I feel compelled to be quiet. I guess this is what being royalty is all about. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> that is truth, huh? That sounds so deep. That's totally it! I have no choice but to confirm. Booyah! Can show directly to find out. She's already given that guy a nickname. I guess in that sense, she's pretty amazing. I don't really like wiggle when, when, when you uh, go to talk to him. Despite how big this island is, I cannot believe it is uninhabited. Just what in the world is going on here? I do hope the supposed truth Biakia has found will provide us with a hint. Aww. Every time Biakia oh, runs his mouth, Fuyuhiko looks ready to kill him. Why do boys always have to provoke each other like that? I'm not sure I can answer that. Sheesh! That Viyakuya! He sure is beating around the bush. Understand? The most important thing in this in the world is nothing is more important than a cute girl. Okay. Not doing that again. He he no. Hey, what's the most serious truth? Did did you find out something about this island? Hmm. Have you all gone to the park that's across the bridge? The park with that weird bronze statue of all those creepy animals, right? Listen. When I saw it, I remembered a story I'd heard before. There's an island in the Pacific Ocean. A powerful island paradise. A powerful, beautiful island paradise where summer never ends. It consists of, cent of a central island by surrounded by five different islands. It's also said that five holy animals symbolize each of those surrounding islands. Eh? Listen. That island's name is Jabberwock Island. Oh, and the park was called Jabberwock Park. Could it be? Could this island be? Jabberwock Island? Is that the name of this island? Very strange. Still, there is something on my mind. In fact, according to what I've heard, Jabberwock Island is already... <laughs> Never mind. Hold on! Hold it right there. That's a rather incomplete story you've told us. Don't worry. No need to shout. I'll let you know once I obtain more information. <sighs> I don't care what this island's called. Nico Nico Island or Papua Island or whatever. Doesn't change the fact that we're all, we all gotta live here, right? Yeah! <laughs> Living together this tropical island sure is exciting! I look super looking forward to it. Right on. This ain't a bad school at all. So, hey, you guys. I like it. I like this island too. <sighs> Can't say the same about the rest of you Cretans. Huh? huh? Did I hear something? Hmm. I'm so worried. But I don't feel as worried as I did earlier. <laughs> yeah, since there's no danger or inconvenience, I feel like this won't be a problem. Hey, listen to what you guys are saying. We need to stay calm and think about this. We're all here to attend Hosebeak Academy, right? But we're living on an island like this instead. No matter what, it's completely weird. You fiend. Why don't you stop talking for a while? Go cool your head off or something. Eh? To tell you but the truth. Plus, even if we wanted to leave, there's no way we can. <laughs> There's no ship, and the planes are just for show. It appears. From what I've discovered, there is no way to contact the outside world either. In conclusion, it would be impossible to call for help. Um. Then why don't we just swim home? It's impossible! There's no way we can swim that far! Show some spirit! What? Are you I'm stupid? I'm telling you, that's impossible! 
Then what if we cut down some trees and made a raft? I won't let you. Nuh-uh. You can't do that. That's the biggest of no-nos. Got it? Please recall the guidelines of the school trip. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature in mutual prosperity. Got it? I want everyone to get along and live peacefully on this beautiful tropical island. Uh, what's with these rules? Who cares about that? That's enough. Stop. This rabbit seems to be rather finicky about these so-called rules. Based on that, what if your actions place everyone here in danger? Oh. Uh, the word danger is a bit much. I want to do something like that. Hajime. Hajime, I understand how you feel, but you need to calm down a little, okay? F for now. As long as we don't do anything weird, it seems there is no danger. Yep. And as long as we gather the hope fragments, we'll be able to get off this island soon. I you're all just gonna believe that? <laughs> There's no other choice but, but to believe. For now, that is. Hey, hey! Anyway, you saw me! What's this present you mentioned in your announcement earlier? Ah! Ah, that's right! Well, of course I didn't forget. Hi, love. <laughs> this is it. Don't be upset. I provided one for all of, for you all, so don't worry. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Usami strap. If you squeeze the tummy, it talks. I'm Usami, magical miracle girl Usami. I'm an itty bitty girl who's sweet like milk. I throw it in the ocean. <laughs> Isn't it cute? <laughs> love, love. What a waste of time. Aww. Man, and I got my hopes up, too. <laughs> I'm ashamed. <sighs> I even had my hopes up. You think so? Really? I think it's pretty cute. Especially how the ears look like a rabbit's. Ta-da! Well, Usami does mean rabbit, you know. Regardless, a large number of Usami straps ended up on the beach anyway. As I figured, after everybody retrieved their strap, they just toss them on, on the beach. Hey! Hey, you can't take nature with trash! <laughs> See? Even they, you think they're trash! Usami sadly picked up the straps and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. <laughs> Aww. And I even prepared one more present, too. But now I don't want to give it to you bad kids. Would it be? Hmm? You have something else? Um... Well, compared to the Usami strap, it's not that big of a deal. Basically, I prepared a motive for everyone. A motive? Hey! I'm getting bad flashbacks. <laughs> I don't like the word motive in these games. That's right. A motive for everyone to get along. We've come all this way to a tropical island, so I thought it'd be great to do something island-themed. <laughs> <laughs> like what? You thinking of throwing a big party or something? Ding, ding, ding! Correct! Wow! Is it a festival? Or maybe a miniature shrine? How wonderful! Anyway... Excuse me, Miss Sonia. <laughs> My loins are so full of poison. And I'd appreciate it if you could suck it out with your mouth. Wait! I hate him. 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 I feel gross. Knock it off, Teru Teru. Alright! Oh, your tenderloins? You betcha! That's... Just ignore him, Sonia! I got it! If we're talking about fun parties on a tropical island, then maybe it should be a barbecue or something! Ah, uh, uh, a campfire sounds fun too. Let's kill! Let's find a hoop snake and kill it! You serious? Is looking for one not enough for you? I see. It seems everyone has different ideas. But if we're gonna be at the ocean, then first, ta -da! Ta -da! This is what it's all about. This is a swimming bag. Love Correct. Love love. Whoa. <laughs> that means. Ta -da! That's right. I have swimsuits for everyone. Well, school swimsuits, actually. I hope that's okay. Uh, are you telling us to go swimming in a situation like this? Yes. It's not like I'm ordering you guys to swim or anything. It's just, if you want to go swimming, you can. Th th there's no way I'm going swimming. 
There's no way anyone would be so thoughtless as to go swimming in a situation like this. Yahoo! Thoughtless number one. Eh? That's right. Thoughtless number two. Oh, ah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. With weather this nice, there's no way I'm gonna pass on swimming. Perm number one. I agree. Even my loins agrees. Stop picking up your loins! All right! Your tender loins? I understand. Wait! S seriously, don't try to understand. Hey, hey! How long has it been since I last swam in the sea? <laughs> All right! Let's go change! Those of us who were excited to go swimming went to get their swimsuits from Usami and ran straight to the hotel to change. Hey. What are you going to do, Hajime? Hajime. I understand how you feel. And I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> but if you feel up for it, I'd be happy if you came along too. Oh no, he has thoughts. I just don't want to know all those thoughts. After he said that, Nagata ran over to the hotel as well. There is no danger on this island. There is nothing tragic waiting to happen on this island. Is that really true? If so, am I actually wrong? Hmm. Well, it's like not everyone. Oh, yeah. I was too distracted by Teru Teru. Yep, yeah, we don't we don't count him. You're right. We we I did think thought we revoked his speaking privileges. You're not going to swim. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> it's more fun to step on the crabs walking on the beach. I am in so much danger, and I don't know if it's because of the of the fact this is a Don Gun Rumpa game, or because of Teru Teru, <laughs> or her. I I see. So it looks like she's staying too. That's not expected. She seems like the more active type. Hey, you're not gonna swim? Huh? Huh? Of course I am. Why? Then why didn't you go change with the F? Go with the others to change. So annoying. I don't need to change. I got all I gotta do is take off my clothes. No. What about your swimsuit? You. There's no way I'm gonna wear something as embarrassing as a school swimsuit. She's just wrong about so many things. Alright! So let's hurry and swim! With those words, Akame quickly took started taking off her Whoa! Hey! I won't forgive you! Hey there! Shameful behavior like that is a no-no! If you're going to swim, you gotta wear a swimsuit! So annoying! <sighs> what a pain! Phew! Phew! Yes, Usami! Stop her from doing anything stupid while Teru Teru is here! Huh? Huh? You're not gonna swim, Hajime? Hmm. How can I get you to believe me? There's no way I can believe her. <laughs> ah, speak oh, wait, no! I didn't want to speak to you! Oh, fuck! <laughs> ah, speaking of which, everyone has returned! As Yuzami said that, I turned around and... I saw a group of people wearing swimsuits jumping into the ocean and shouting with joy. If I knew she- Yahoo! I thought- I thought Hagia would have been the one! Yay! The sea! Uh, the water is so cool! It feels great! Oh, uh, too salty! This water's too salty! It's not going easy on me! Hey, I got some suntan lotion from the supermarket. Would anyone like a rub down? What? Okay, one. Take the suntan lotion away from Teru Teru. He has lost his rights. Second. Why does Nekumaru the only one with a different... Uh, swimsuit. Also, we have Gundam building a little castle for his uh, little devas with, still with his scarf. That 
That's adorable. Oh, you're quite considerate. Now then, will you apply it right away? Hey, okay. rubbing lotion on a muscular man. All right, no problem. My tastes are pretty open, you know. Are you? You seem a little too open. Like you're covering too many bases by yourself. <laughs> I'll make sure to slather you with lots and lots of oil. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What is this feeling of intense bloodlust? Yes, Nekumaru. You're probably the strongest one out of everyone. Punch the bitch. He does not be have the right to be called a man or a boy. Get rid of him. <laughs> It feels like a resort. There's no other way to describe it. Seeing the other students having all this fun, I... <laughs> yep, yep, I'm very happy. Everyone seems to be getting along with each other, so I'm very happy. I thought this would be hard until everyone got used to this, but they're all acting like ultimates. Ding, 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 ding. Let's get the pace and do our best to peacefully enjoy this heart-throbbing school trip! What's this feeling of alienation? I can't really put it into words. Am I really wrong about all this? Fine. I just gotta do it, right? Then I'll do it. That's right, I'll do it! Huh? How'd you mean? Did something happen? Hey, hand me one of those swimsuits. Jeez, I can't believe I was the only one worrying. I feel like an idiot. I don't care anymore. I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna seriously enjoy myself and have fun. Don't just Hey, go you guys! Don't forget about me! Don't just go along with the crowd! That's stupid! Bad! Hey, hey, wait for me! Let me join in the fun! Wait, huh? Suddenly, the sky grew cloudy. Huh? What is this? What's happening? These strange clouds. This doesn't look natural at all. Hmm? Eh? Huh? Hey, what's going on? What did you do? This is obviously not right. It was only just a few moments, minutes ago. <gasps> uh, uh, hey! What is this? Huh? I didn't do anything! What is all this? There's no way! Something like this shouldn't be happening! And at that exact moment, just when it seemed like this couldn't get any more get more confusing, it suddenly appeared happened. Ah ah! Mic check! Mic check! There he is! Uh, 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 can you hear me? Can you hear me? That voice was so laid back and so gleeful that it seemed out of place. But it was different from Usami's. As <laughs> if an I'm in danger! <laughs> I am in so much danger! Panakuma's here! As if an endless storm of malice could be felt raging behind that laid back voice. The moment I felt it, my body shuddered. <laughs> surprised? You were totally surprised! Oh, don't you dare start, Armor. Do not start with the pair of puns. T maybe? Is I don't know if Territory is by or not, but I know I don't like him. And if he is, bad representation. Bad representation. Right? Now then, sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's leave all this worthless entertainment behind. It's time for the main attraction. You guys better hustle over to Jabberwock Park! Could, could it be? This voice! If this is... Oh, this is very bad. I gotta do something. I won't let you. It's all up to me. <laughs> hey, wait! Very strange. It seems that was an unusual occurrence. Hmm... It's best if we go, too. Jabberwock Park, was it? Let's hurry. Hey! Hey! Wait! B 
But but what about everyone who's swimming? Naturally. There's no time to wait for them to change. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll head over first. <laughs> Shit. What the just what the hell is going on? I'll be really pissed if it's something fucking stupid. What is this? What the hell is going on? Uh, okay. Jarawat Park, right? I don't wanna no, not the bear pies! <laughs> oh, that's not what I wanted. The crystal clear sea changed color. It looks like it'll swallow me whole if I stare at it for too long. Does it look like that because of that malicious voice we just heard? Huh? Boo! There's just too many Mr. Krabs! Bye! Fine, I'll just step on this later. You crab better run while you still can. Oh, it's no longer green. Oh, instant. As we arrived at Jabberwark Park, it was only a shouting voice could be heard ringing throughout the park. I won't let you. But where are you? Where are you hiding? H hiding? Who are you talking to? <laughs> eh? Hey, hey! Where are you? Show yourself! <laughs> oh, they changed pretty quick. There he is! Why, hello there! Thank you all for waiting! Hi, Monokuma. I don't know how you're here, because you're the person behind you is dead. But hi! Long time no see, guys! I am Monokuma! I'm the headmaster of this academy! Then again, he was moving around afterwards. So he might not need her anymore. Monokuma! I have made my dashing appearance. The first thing I need to say is... Lame! This is so freaking lame. Lame, I say. Lamer than the lamest lame sauce. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> lame sauce? Is that tasty? Hey, hey. Just as I thought. It was you. But... No! Why is Monokuma here? Monokuma? Silence! Ah, uh, shut up! Um, I'm livid, you know. And I'm about to I'm about ready to barf thanks to your lukewarm attitude. Just what's with this heart throbbing school trip crap anyway? I'm bored. So hopelessly bored. Hey! This ain't fun at all. You better knock off this farce right now! What are you thinking? You've gotta make this, you know. Meet the demands of the world! Why did I say it like that? <laughs> Nobody wants to see high school students living calm and peaceful lives. That's what slice of life animes are for, hun. You're wrong there. What everyone wants to see. <laughs> Other people's misery and despair. You. What the hell is with this stuffed animal? Nothing he says makes any damn sense. What? What, what is going on? What is that? But... No. I won't let you. Be careful, everyone. Stay back and leave this to me. I highly doubt you can do anything. I don't know why Monokuma is here, but as long as I have this magic stick... Yeah! Opening! Hi Hi <laughs> Stop! Where are you getting ice cream? Da da da! Victory! Oh. They're on her stick. God, no, not the puns, please. It's too early for these puns. No! My magic stick! Now then, what to do after my flawless victory? First of all, you're too plain. White rabbits are far too plain. So, I'm gonna make you in my image. Uh, <laughs> the 
This is what happens when you defy me. I'll crunch ya. I'll bite ya. I'll rip you apart. <laughs> Stop it! Hey, hold still. This wooden stick isn't gonna shove itself in, you know? Big Brother's fashion sense. It won't be a little troublemaker. Hey, Big Brother. Won't be my little sister. Your current position is too wishy-washy, so I'm setting you to be my little sister, Monami. <laughs> Though it's only an ex external setting, after all. Hey, but why not to be your little sister? What? what? Big sister then? You wanna be the older sister that gets separated at birth? I don't like this. Hmm, that doesn't really feel right. Yep, you're definitely more more like a little sister. Call me Big Brother. So that's how it's gonna be, Mona Me. From now on, if you ever disobey me, I'll never forgive you. How? Oh, uh, <laughs> Even the display changed to Mona Me. Stop bringing the fourth wall! I won't forgive you. But hey, I won't let you make up your own settings. <laughs> Stupid fool. Do you think you can win against me? Alrighty then. I have my emo set back up, so I'm going to use them when I can. <laughs> Me. <laughs> you missed the entirety of like the fluffy wholesome part of this game the only part that's gonna be like that <laughs> how about that now you've learned your lesson what what is Living stuffed animals fighting each other. That's like completely insane. Uh, if only I still had the magic stick. They could have told me be in that awful monokuma. <laughs> it's your fault for leaving yourself open. Even a one second opening is like it's like threatening on a battlefield. Hey, hey, hey. What's what's this stupid performance? Huh? Uh, who freaking knows? Hmm, but it's obvious something bad is happening. Huh? Uh, what is this? What's going on? <laughs> huh? Huh? Now she's all weird looking. Weird looking? She matches me now, you know. How insensitive. What the? There's more of them? What did you say? W what does this mean? What is that black and white tanuki? <laughs> Monokuma has been degraded to a tanuki. Bear it! I'm not a tanuki! I'm a bear! I'm Monokuma! What's going on? I, I don't understand it myself, but a new stuffed animal appeared. I mean. Why is that stuffed animal even talking? Damn it! Seriously, I'm not a stuffed animal. I'm Monokuma, the headmaster of Hope Peak Academy. This is Monokuma. Huh? Did you say headmaster? Anyway, regardless, it appears everyone has gathered. Now then, as the headmaster, I shall make a formal declaration. <laughs> From this point onward, the killing school trip will now commence.
killing school trip? <laughs> a school trip where everyone gets along has no st stimulation at all. And it's so damn boring. Nobody wants to play a game like that. Hey, hey, you guys agree with me, right? Thank you for waiting. So let's begin our killing school trip. Do your best. Naturally, you guys are the contestants. You're kidding, right? Killing contestants. I won't forgive you. What are you saying? I will absolutely positively not allow such bloody events. All the characters of the game need to break the fourth wall. It's fine. <laughs> Monami's such a dumb child. Jeez, your brain is sure is tiny, Monami. Monami. How many times do I have to tell you? Pay attention this time. I keep changing his voice. I don't know what I'm gonna stick with. Except in manga, a little sister is never smarter than her big brother. <laughs> Allow me to explain! We are off topic for a while, so let's go back to the explanation of the killing school trip. <laughs> what do you mean, skilling, killing school trip? What are you saying? Isn't it obvious? You guys are going to kill each other. Well... Kill each other. I see. Are you kidding me? Kill each other! No way, no way, no way! W what are you saying? That's impossible! No... Well, you don't think- Don't you think it's kind of lame and boring that you can't leave the island unless you all get along? So I'm changing the rules. Yahoo! If you want off this island, then please kill one of your friends. And then, make it through the class trial without getting caught. <gasps> class trial? That's right! The class trial is the real charm of this killing school trip. Allow me to explain. If one of you gets murdered, the surviving members must participate in the class trial. At the class trial, there will be a showdown between the blackened killer and the other spotless students. During the trial, you'll present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. The outcome will be decided by popular vote, and if you arrive at the correct answer, only the blackened killer will be punished. The rest may continue their school trip. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will just receive your punishment. As far as the class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. In other words, which means if you kill someone and make it through the class trial, you get to leave and live then leave this island. I was replaced with the two L's. However, if you are found guilty during the class trial, then you will be punished. <laughs> <laughs> it's a familiar but simple rule, right? What the heck? You keep repeating that word punish over and over. What's the deal with that? Hmm. Basically, it's an execution. That is... E execution The pleasing punishment that follows the class trial. This is one of the perks of the killing school trip. <laughs> what sort of spine-tingling punishments will we see? I can't help it. I'm already getting excited. There may even be some unique punishments, like impaling you through the head with a thingamajig claw! Thingamajig claw? Hmm. <clears throat> Any method of killing is fine. Popular ones like bludgeoning, stabbing, strangling, and poisoning. Just shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, slashing, drowning, electrocution, bashing, cursing. Ching! Please choose whatever killing method you prefer. No time limit, so you can kill as you please. It's an all-you-can-murder buffet. A theme park of murder. That's awesomely pop-tastic! Oh, not you too. That's what this killing school trip is all about! I clutched my chest without realizing it. 
With each beat of my heart, a sharp, stabbing pain coursed through my body. I didn't understand what was happening to me. Damn it. D don't fuck with me. That's right. Th that's right. Who on earth would kill someone? No way! I'm not hoarding anyone to kill. Whether or not you kill someone is entirely up to you. No, no! But be careful. Youth doesn't last forever. It'll be too late if you guys wait till you're in your 40s to start killing each other. I won't believe. I, I won't I believe. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. What's going on? W what if nobody ever gets murdered? Does that mean we'll never leave this island? Who knows? Anyway... I'd like for you all to go through with this killing school trip in a healthy and positive manner. What's going on? W wait just a minute. Why do we have to do this? What's this? Well, it's obvious. There's a reason you all need to kill each other. Huh? Hold on! You've been running your mouth for quite some time. I have no idea! I don't want to get violent, but if I do, I have no idea what might happen. I'm gonna do it! Oh, she's terrified. What, you a fight? You want to be the crap out of that black and white bear? Let's go. Who would dare try to kill? I'll put a stop to it with force if necessary. Why you? If you keep saying stupid stuff, the athletes in our school group are gonna lose their patience. Fine, fine. Dude, I am pretty sure we could all say that we did it and just be like, it's fine. We can die. We, we... If we don't agree, if we all just pick someone else at random, it'll be fine. Oh, is that so? Well, I guess I expected this reaction. <laughs> if you guys want to do things by force, then I'll have to fight back with, uh, with a little force of my own. Hey! Force? What are you going to do? Surge, O oh gods who dwell between light and darkness. In accordance with our contract, I summon thee now. Come forth, mana beasts! Mana beasts? <gasps> Twisted Beast Sojo! Hi, welcome in! Thank you for the follow! If you don't mind me asking, and if you're in comfort for talking in chat, how did you find me? Of course, if you're not, sit back, those are massive. Hello? Oh, I'm scared. I am so scared. I like them better when they were on the statue. It's IKEA Transformers. <laughs> but if you don't feel comfortable talking in chat, just sit back and enjoy the chaos that is me when I play this series. <laughs> I've seen lots of strange and surprising things since I first arrived at this island. But still, the phenomenon taking place right in front of me is was blatantly out of this world. <gasps> huh? Huh? What? Wh why? Is this... Did the statue move? Wrong! That's no statue! They're mono beasts! <laughs> Monster! Hey! No, I just said they're mono beasts! The strange thing about genuine surprise is that when it happens, your voice won't let you express it. I was forced to accept that. The sudden appearance of a monster might be normal in anime and video games. And that's precisely why I couldn't grasp the reality of the situation. I couldn't even feel fear. All I could do was stand aghast. The gossip, I guess. No! No, this can't be. This is just too weird. Don't tell me. Am I having a nightmare or something? <laughs> <laughs> a nightmare, he says. He just admitted his brain is a total flower patch. Unbelievable. Jeez. You guys sure are a skeptical bunch. If something doesn't fit within your narrow notions of common sense, you just deny it outright. How stupid. Ignorant cavemen are better than you all. I don't like this. Classifying events according to their genre is a disease of the modern age. Everyone. Everyone, please stay back. I I will 
will protect everyone. I can't lose. Even at the cost of my own life. I will protect everyone. Uh-huh. What's this? Whoa. Ah! Ah, I know. This is nausea. Your sickly sweet sense of justice makes me want to puke. Let's go! It's punishment time! Alrighty then, it's decided. You'll be my example to everyone. It is Gundam. Except Gundam is an actual name in this game. So Allie just called them Transformers. Oh, the, the bunny is about to get hurt. Yeah, oh, I, I will show you here in a sec. Okay, so she got murdered. And emotional <laughs> damage. Huh? What? What? Uh, what is that? <laughs> it's only the first stage, and Monami is already dead. What? This is Gundam. He's the ultimate breeder. He has hamsters living in his scarf. He's kind of adorable. But he's also kind of an edge lord. He's great. <laughs> he's also the supreme overlord of ice, which has me a little eh. But I will see how things go. It is that a demon? Or perhaps it's a weapon from the future? <laughs> Mono beasts are dreadful weapons of destruction! The sudden appearance of a monster. Even though a life threatening monster appeared, not a single one of us tried to run away. It's not that we didn't realize it was a monster, we were just vastly out of our element. We had never experienced anything like this before and had no idea how to deal with it. That reality was very lethal at this particular moment. <sighs> <laughs> That's right. This is what I wanted. This feeling of despair. Giving an example was totally the right call. <laughs> oh, I'm not fighting him for the title. I just hope he doesn't expect me to follow that title. Unlike the exuberantly laughing Monokuma, we were completely frozen. As though we'd forgotten to breathe. We just stood there, horrified. We were powerless, no different than ants washed away in a storm. Well now, now then, I believe I've made my point. Just so we're clear, you guys can't defy me. If you don't want to end up as fish food, you better not disobey me. Just so you know, I don't feel mercy or sympathy. Cause I'm a bear after all. An excuse like, I got high off this tropical atmosphere. Won't work on me at all. Hmm. Also, in addition to the killing school hand killing school trip, I've already updated the e-handbook. There, the rules for the killing school trip are written, so you better read them thoroughly. <laughs> Ignorance of the rules is no excuse either. Well, that's also true of any society, really. Now then, <laughs> enjoy the remainder of this liberating and harsh school trip. There he goes. After he said his piece, Monokuma and his mono beasts vanished before our eyes. In truth, I was horribly tired. Everything was just so unreasonable. I didn't even care if this was the aftermath. Everyone else looked the same. We all had this tired expression on our pale faces. That's what just happened. Um, um, 
Um, I won't believe. I won't I, believe. I just won't believe it. That's it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> It'd be one thing if we were up against a human or even an animal. <laughs> what the hell can we do against a monster like that? What's going on? Uh, at this point, Nathan? I think Monokuma. So, if you're talking about the battle between Roga and Gundam, I have no idea. It's impossible. Why is something impossible happening? It's certainly possible. Well, it's not really impossible. Those bon mono beasts, or whatever they're called, are machines. Thus, Monokuma must also be the same. As long as they're machines, it means someone made them and is controlling them. Then. Who could be responsible? Why were we put into this unexplainable situation? Answer me! Hey! Who is it? Who? Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it could be anyone. It's not like I believe it anyway. There's no way I'd believe something like that. Anyway. More importantly, are you guys hungry? No, stop thinking about this and just eat. Oh. You can eat first. Listen. No matter how confused or upset you are, I don't mind. However, remember this. I don't know who in the world is orchestrating this, but we don't need to be cautious of those machines. Or even of whoever's controlling them. Thank you for the posture check night thing. More than anything, we must be cautious of... Ourselves. Wasn't he the one? Isn't Bianchi the one that first pointed it out in the first game, too? <laughs> oh, I ate before I started stream, so I turned that off. So that you're not wasting your points. Okay, I don't know if I trust your uh, analysis of that there, Allie. You're a little biased. <laughs> Being brought to a tropical island with complete strangers in order to kill each other to escape. That creates fear in our minds, and the desire to escape that hopeless fear is our worst enemy. We looked around at each other's faces. It was obvious from looking at their expressions. Everyone was forced to admit the truth of what he just said. We had to be honest with ourselves and admit that we also had that potential. Only a student who- <laughs> Thanks, Nightbang. Appreciate it. <laughs> Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island. Which means, in order to escape this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice a person. What is Nekumaru wearing on his feet? Oh, you can't see it. My, my model's in the way. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know what he's wearing on his feet. Th those are like the old timey sandals, right? Gata? Alrighty then. <laughs> Did I read this? I'll assume I didn't. However, there's a possibility that a killing may never occur. But, even I'm no different. So, can I truly be confident that something like that isn't going to happen? No. There's no way I can know for sure. In this nightmare of a situation, I don't have the confidence to say that outright. Once you're suspicious of something, you'll start to be sus suspicious of everything. Even of yourself. That's why it feel felt so hopeless. That day became a day unlike any other. A day which held a more significant meaning. It was a special day. A very meaningful day full of despair. That was the beginning. The killing school trip had begun, and this tropical island was the stage. Oh, this is the opening. We can watch it.
I kind of skipped over it when I was starting the game. Is that from the first game? Did they redo the court? Did they not change how the courtroom looks? Unless she's pouting there. And he had alchemy behind him. Nice! Also, uh, I, I do say that I wouldn't want to trust his cooking, but he is known as the ultimate cook for a reason. I want to say that he would pride himself on his cooking, so he wouldn't fuck with it. Because if he would go as low as to mess with it just for... Uh, just so he can get what he wants, then I don't think he would have been acknowledged as the ultimate cook. Prologue. Welcome to the Dongan Island. Panic at the heart-throbbing school trip? We're all surviving. Yay! Dongan Island. Be continued. Oh, I. You have attained a present. Faux show broken want. What the fuck? I would like to save, yes. Rule number five. Once a murder takes place, a class trial will begin shortly thereafter. Participation is mandatory for all surviving students. Rule 6. If the blackened is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. Rule 7. If the blackened is not exposed, the remaining students will be executed. Rule 8. As a reward, the surviving blackened will be forgiven of their crime and allowed to leave the island. Rule 9. The body discovery announcement will play as soon as three or more people discover a body for the first time. Rule 10. Destroying any property on this island without permission is expressly prohibited. This includes the surveillance cameras and monitors. Rule 11. You are free to investigate this island at your own discretion. Your actions in this regard are not limited. Last rule. Additional school trip rules may be added at the headmaster's discretion. As I raised my head from the e-handbook with a heavy sigh, I saw the dark courtyard of the, of the hotel. I sat on the bench, paralyzed with thought. Is he really going to make us do this? There's no way I could believe that this was my now my reality. Even so... This was undeniably real. No matter how much I didn't want to believe it, the moment I experienced and felt it for myself, it became undeniably real. This is a reality that could not be more different from my usual daily life. School, studying, exams, job hunting, going for walks, going to school, Riding the train, lectures, that kind of daily life is no longer mine. As I looked up, I saw stars glimmering in the night, covering the sky like a sheet. They looked as if they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. For the first time since I arrived at this island, instead of the night sky I'd grown accustomed to, I saw a night sky that was far too beautiful. As I stared blankly into, the, into that night sky, I suddenly imagined those words in my mind. The student who murders their classmate will be able to leave this island. When we were forced to hear those words, we just stood there silently. Nobody said a word, and eventually, everyone scattered and vanished. 
and it led straight to the first night. A night so beautiful it enchanted me. And yet, my heart was horribly upset. That kind of beauty was definitely far different from than my usual daily life. Chapter 1 Destination Despair Mouthful. It is now 10 p.m. Okay, so we're still doing the nighttime and the daytime announcement. Nighttime can be confusing. If you're out at night and accidentally meet a killer, then it sucks yeah. to be you. Pause. But if you're worried about that and can't sleep, I've prepared a cottage on the hotel grounds for each of you. Every single one of you, please feel free to rest in your own rooms. However, before you go to bed, I strongly recommend you lock your doors. You never know who might be planning to kill you. He's really trying to solidify that. <laughs> bye bye. Damn. That's ominous. The cottage, huh? Alright, I think I'm going to head to the cottage and then. Call it a call it a day, so I don't go too too far ahead. Cause this was supposed to be my day off. I just I felt bad about not streaming, not really streaming yesterday. Okay, I've got to check on my pets. How you doing after all that? You're doing good. You want the wand? Can I give you the wand? makes the hope and the despair meter grow before I do anything. Okay. So, here. Oh, what is that little staircase looking thing? Damn it! As soon as I enter the cottage, I collapse onto the bed. What the hell? As I screamed silently to myself, I buried my head in my arms. I didn't want to see anyone anymore. I just wanted to be alone forever. I have nobody I can trust. Because, even if I wanted to trust them, I don't know anything about them yet. The only person I can trust is myself. No, even I don't believe that. In truth, after I was forced to hear that dumb rule, you can't leave unless you kill someone, I realize there's a part of me that really wants to get off this island. And at that moment, I let out a scream. <laughs> Can't actually scream, so that's the best you got. I'm not having my mom come rushing upstairs. A scream erupted from my mouth. <laughs> It rushed from my mouth like a wa like water from a collapsed dam. Nope, I'm not damaging my throat any more than this. Why me? Why do I have to go through with this? Ugh. I began to lose my voice, and it faded entirely not long after. What followed was silence. No, not complete silence. I heard the faint sound of crashing waves in the distance. As if the waves were murmuring into my ears, this is no longer the world you knew. And once again, I buried my head in my arms. Why am I here? What am I doing here? I forced my eyes to shut. I wasn't tired or anything, but I just wanted to sleep, if only for a short while. I wanted to put an end to it all. And if, by chance, I managed to wake up the next day. It would be awesome if it was, I was back to my normal life. With these meager expectations, I fell into a light sleep. Oh, 
Okay, this is a new way of doing it. It's cute. Ahem! Danganronpa 2! To those of you who purchased Danganronpa 2, goodbye despair. Thank you very much. To those of you who are borrowing Danganronpa 2, goodbye despair from a friend. You always risk losing friends when you borrow their things, so you should buy your own copy just to be safe. Now then, it's been a while since the main story started, so I'll give you the keynote address right now. From now on, I promise you'll be charmed by this world. It generally deserves to be called a true game. So, make sure you get excited and immerse yourself in the heart throbbing action to your heart's content. Now then, until the very end, please enjoy this game to the fullest. I plan on it. Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Are you want to make that every time? Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. So, it definitely wasn't a dream after all. I was forced to acknowledge that yet again which put me in a bad mood from the get-go. I guess for now, I should go outside. No, no, no! Why? You're not allowed to go out. But, Monokuma, why are you here? No way! Hey, now, don't be so worried. I'm here for fun reasons. Fun reasons? Hey, um... I want you to find my stuffed animals. <laughs> Got ahead of myself and made too many. Phew! But I thought it'd be a waste to just throw them away, so I put them all over the island. If you please. They're scattered all over various areas. So you just go right ahead and look for them all. Why do I have to do something like that? Too bad. Because I said so. You can't say no. I've already hidden one of them in, in this room. And I won't let you out until you find it. Well, good luck. Damn it. That selfish stuff. Animal. Oops. I can save during a cutscene. We gotta find the bear first. Is that it? Huh? Oh. I've been found! What, what is that? I got, I got coins. Oh, that's what that thing is for. Good job! I have also left you some mono coins. I'm so generous. Isn't that wonderful? These coins can be exchanged for fabulous items at the beach and and the rocket punch market. I've also hidden the stuffed animals in other places too, so do your best and look for them. <laughs> if you find them all, surprise, surprise. W what? Never mind. I should just go. Alrighty then. Alright, that was an interesting start to the game. I can't say that I am the hugest fan of Usami, but I can say she didn't deserve that. <laughs> I am definitely looking forward how this game is gonna go. I already know I have a character I don't like, so if he dies off early, I'm not gonna be mad. I have a few characters that I have a top running for the for my favorite. So I'm trying I'm going to leave Biakia out of this because he was already my favorite in the first game. And I'm already seeing some characters that I really I've got to turn the volume down again. I'm already seeing some characters from this game that I m might become my favorite. So Byakuya is out of the running. I love him. We already know this. But we gotta find someone else for the new game. It's a tie between Chiaki and Gundam for right now. Chiaki just because she's a gamer and Gundam because he's a walking contradiction and I love him. I cannot wait to play more of this. 
it was a blast to start, and I'm kind of glad I didn't wait till next week. Because I, I was, because I again was planning on waiting. We are going to go raid. Hmm. We're gonna go raid a uh, sketch. He's fine. It's been a minute since I raided him. We're gonna go raid Skeech. He is playing Plates Up. It's a game that I've been interested in. I might get to play with uh, some friends of mine. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your night. And I will see you all tomorrow. I mm, was gonna play Ori, but I may end up, oh, oops. What did I press? That's what I press. I forgot. I still have to type. It was a fitting, though, for the game I'm playing. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. And tomorrow will either be Ori or more Danganronpa. Because I, I don't know if I want to play this just once since I started early. It'll be one or the other. Oh, uh, we will find out together which one it's gonna be. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your night. We are go say hi to the skeleton boy, and I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. Bye. <laughs>